ladies and gentlemen. Everyone out in the peanut gallery. Greetings and salutations. Endzone is a game that's just... It just keeps coming back, you know? Hey, Bluesy. It just keeps coming back. You know? It, it doesn't really go away. It's in our hearts. In the way, way backs of our minds. Way back there. And then it just pops up. And then you're just like, hey, wait a minute. There's something new again. Again, something new. And that's what I've got going on today. Something new. Hi, Micah. Welcome in. I'm going to say hi to every single person in chat today. I swear. I'm not going to miss a single soul. Hi, Weekly. Welcome. Sadeep, is that how you say it? I'm doing pretty good. Ella, welcome. Mm. Ah, Reese, Levi, Cybersea. <laughs> I'm going to get everybody, I swear. I'm not going to miss anyone. Ah, um, Unless your name is really hard, then I'm going to probably be really bad at it. But I'll try. <laughs> Sling. Welcome. Ferdy. Hi. Ray Quaza. Really? Welcome in. Greetings and salutations to all. We have a fun day, I think. A fun day ahead of me uh, here. Uh, this is the new Distant Places DLC by Assemble Entertainment. Full disclosure, this stream is sponsored by Assemble Entertainment. Not only did they make this awesome DLC, they're going to pay me to play it. That just seems... That just seems really right, actually. Hi. We're going to check it out today. I'm pumped. And the thing is, this one... Um, if you're confused, because it's like, wow, we already have this major civilization. This is from Season 2 on the channel, so... If you want to see how this was built, it's the season two end zone, right? Playlist that we have. I'm just putting this in there, uh, just popping it in the playlist because it's the same, you know, because it's the same town. Last time they released the Prosperity DLC, did the same thing. Opened this up, played this Prosperity DLC, added a bunch of cool things, including this beacon, the landmark, which is kind of in the process of being built. We never actually finished it. It takes a while. But uh, today we're going to... We're gonna bit make a balloon of our own. You might remember the traders, right? They come in on balloons, right? My 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 wonderful friend Bara here, old T Bara. Oh, we like T Bara. She's awesome. Now, now we get to have our own balloons. Potentially, I, we gotta see. I know almost nothing about the DLC other than what they've told me, which isn't a lot yet. So, we're gonna experience it together. Yeah, free monies, maybe. Hey, King. How are you? Keith Henderson, welcome. Hi, Krios. Dasuke Kun is here. I think I said hi to Ferdy already. Okay, I'm caught up 100%. I will say hi to you. If you come into chat, I will say hi to you. So just be warned. Coming into chat is like... It's the best possible way to just be acknowledged. <laughs> it's gonna happen today. I swear. That's how my name should be pronounced. Nice. Alright, sweet. So, this DLC... It's called Distant Places, and what it does is it adds new maps for you to explore. Missions that you can go off. You can now go off the map, right? You might remember, if, if you've never seen Endzone before, I don't want you to be confused or lost. Maybe you've seen Survive in the Aftermath, potentially. You might have seen that before. We played that a couple of times as well. It's from Paradox. This has the same theme, but it does it in a very different way. Super different. They, aside from the post-apocalyptic theme, I don't think the games could be different, any different, any more different. Um, so it's it, they're very they're very differentiated uh, in how they approach everything. Uh, so instead of going off on the map screen with your specialists and going to different things, you literally have those those points of interest are on the map itself. They, you go off to these places on the map themselves. Lots of scrap everywhere, and you get them. And up until this point. That was the game. You go to the military base and do things, and you can explore over here. And there's like a quest that you can go on, and there's there's a story with it. They'll tell you up, you know, what we're doing, and then you have an option. You have choices to make and things. It's really great. 
Um, but now they've taken it one step further. And they're going to let us go off the map now, which is kind of sweet. So let me, uh, real quick, make sure that we're up to date on this, on everything. Um, this is a fully done colony. We're very stable. We're growing. We're almost a thousand population. It should, we should be good to do expeditions now, I think. I don't know, but I think, I think, I think we should be good. Um, so, um, we're going to go into the research. And there's a new... Wow, that song's loud. I'm going to turn it down. Uh, there is a new... A new thing in the technology and defense tab called Balloon Station. We're going to go ahead and get this. It says the Balloon Station can be used to send expeditions to faraway places. Also, with each completed expedition, it gives you the opportunity to take advantage of special trade offers. Okay. It will take three knowledge to, uh, to make this happen. We also need level five utensils. So you can't do this uh, very... I think it, I thought you need... Oh, sorry. I need level five. You need level three utensils. I have level five. So you, you got to wait a little bit before you can progress in like the research tree wise. You need to play a little while before you can do this. This is kind of mid to late game content. So that's why we're jumping right into a save that we had before so I could get right into it because um, I don't have all day. So um, it's going to take a bunch of wood, scrap, cloth, metals, plastics, electronics, all the same basic stuff. So we're going to go ahead and have that be our new research. And uh, we'll let time progress fairly quickly here, I think. Um, this colony, again, this is season two on the channel. So you'll, you'll find the link in the description, I think. If it's not there while live, it'll definitely be there while it's a VOD. Absolutely. Mr. Joker, hi. Welcome. Kunteki, good to see you. Hi, King. Recent play Survivor of the Aftermath. Been looking out for this one. How do they compare, in your opinion? It's a really, it's a taste. I like both games. I think there are certain elements that each game does better. If you want realism I'll go with like well, something that's a bit more realistic I would go with end zone personally um if you want a bigger challenge I would go with end zone um if you want um I want to say a more fleshed out story experience something that takes you and, and makes you feel like a character uh I think I would probably go with aftermath on that just a little bit. Um, the specialist dynamic and being able to go out on the map plays a role. Um, this doesn't have any vehicles to drive around in, so if you're, you know, there's a bit more of a tool set there. Um, both games have raids, but they approach them very differently. Um, we won't be seeing raids today because this save was before they implemented raids and I chose not to implement it uh, after the fact. Um, so we don't have raids in this save, but uh, yeah, like I, I would feel, I feel like there is. They're, they're, they've got their similarities, but put it this way. They each have their own features um, the, that are the same as the other game, but they have completely different flavors. It's like having uh, uh, an engine car and an EV, right? They're, they're just, they both are a car. They both get you where they need to go, all the things, but they're different in how they approach how they do that. And the experience is different because of that. So it's, it's plays to your tastes. I'm dead. Hi, how are you? Yeah, yeah. It's a playstyle thing. I would say that I pref if I have to pick between the two games, you can only have one. I prefer Endzone. And I'm not just saying that because it's sponsored. I've said that before, too. Um, I, pref I would prefer Endzone in that situation. It's a, it's a close comparison. Um, but if you have to choose only one, if you must choose only one, I would go with this one. Because I like the way it does it better. I just like the systems. Like, for example, this one here has a full-on radiation system dynamic weather and radiation system based on how the weather is cloud cover uh different types of pollution you can see which parts are more contaminated right you have to provide protective clothing in varying different degrees for different types of people right you you know you you have uh big old sandstorms come in and blow shit everywhere and wreck your buildings right like it's got that it's got that dynamic thing same thing with soil moisture levels this is all dynamic it's not like with surviving the aftermath it's like the resource is right there and it's always right there and it's never going to be anywhere else other than right there where this it shifts around and moves potentially the water could shift the the weather could shift you know it's it's very different that way so i again they have very different approaches and uh very different approaches to the same idea put it that way all right. 
So I don't have any decrees. I thought about maybe doing some decrees while we were waiting for the research. Um, so in order to research things, if you're curious, you have to have the knowledge points. You're going to spend those. The tool set is just kind of what your tech level is. So you need to be in, in three. I've, I'm already at five in this, so we're good on anything I want to do. Um, you have to provide these resources to the research station. And then once they have all the, all the materials, that you, you deliver them all the materials, then they'll research the thing that you uh, asked them to do. You attain knowledge by just not researching things for a while and letting your science team just build up knowledge, general knowledge on things. So I, I kind of like how it works because you can apply that knowledge. You, 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 you let them stew a little bit and then you let them apply that knowledge afterwards using varying different resources. So, you know, if you want to do this, okay, cool. We need to research how balloons and stuff work. Cool. We're going to need some cloth. We're going to need some metal, some plastic, a little bit of electronics, right? Provide us these resources and we'll see if we can make it work. And that's basically what this is right now. That's what we're doing. Does it have an ending? Um, yes and no. Like, it, 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 like most games like this, it's kind of your where you want to end it. Um, I will say that there is an end zone. Um, there is on the map somewhere. There is a like an underground bunker. Not sure where it is. Let me let's see if we can find it. We're going to go to the expeditions window. And we'll just kind of flip through these until we... You know, all these interesting locations that we haven't visited yet, right? And you can tell your people to visit this if you'd like to. Um... So we got this question mark here. I think there's an underground bunker. It's a corner shop. Uh, office ruins. I think one of these is a is one of them. I thought, but maybe we've already done it. It's been a while, so I don't actually know which one it was. Military base is there. Nuclear power plant. I always end with this one. I always end my series with uh, raiding that one. And you can get these resources too if you when you do this and you go through. Maybe you make a mistake and your guys get hurt. That can happen. Um, you have to provide them with the resources. Um, this location here, there's so much resources, we couldn't get it all in one trip. So I would have to send more people out to here to get another, you know, to get more. Um, there's no danger to it anymore, but we can do that. Um, I don't see an end zone on the map. Interesting. We haven't... Uh, I don't have one on the map. It might just be because we've already done it and it's not available anymore. But I thought for sure that that was a thing that would happen. But I thought for sure that that was something that would stay on the map, though. The map is enormous. You can build you can build colonies of thousands of people. But I mean, at a scale, at, a, at an end point, right? As you play the game, you know, you are going to get a lot of the same, right? Because you're just expanding the same stuff over and over again. Um, I'm gonna actually gonna tell my population to. Uh, I'd like to tell my population to stop growing, because um, we're running out of water. We just had three straight seasons of no rain. Now we're gonna have a drought. That's bad. Um, so I might actually lose some people to uh, drowning here. I said it was stable, but I might actually lose some people to drowning here in a second, just because it, it provided me with three seasons of no rain at all. That was weird. Um, and then the drought's coming, but then it will rain twice with uncontaminated rain. We'll fill all these rain catchers up, which will be really nice. Um, then we'll have a couple of seasons with no rain at all, but it's still, it's, it's going to happen, man. We're going to get really low on water. Here it is. Yikes, yikes, yikes. We have these pumps. We've progressed far enough to where we have electric pumps. And then, um, the pop professionals, I can go ahead and say, I want like even more water carriers here. If nothing else, just so they can get the water off the pumps and, and bring it where it needs to be. But we are going to struggle with water here in a second. However, we're not here to survive. Not anymore. Not this video. We're here just to use the balloon station. We're going to get that going. Aussie Devil. Welcome in. Just found you a couple weeks ago. Loving your content. Just wanted to pop in and say thank you very much. Soviet Republic is so much fun, and I play it because of you. I just wanted to say thanks. Hey, that is a great game. I'm going to play it again. Um, I'm looking forward to playing it again. There's some updates to that game that's happened lately, and I want to explore them, um, especially with that crime system now. Seems pretty cool. 
Uh, we're gonna do a whole like a colony in the mountains and all that stuff. I was considering I, it, it'll be bad content, so I probably won't do it. We'll see. Like it depends on the demand for that. But I was thinking about doing cosmonaut mode for it in the next run, which you know will totally make Katie Cat very happy because that's like super hard, right? Um, cosmonaut mode is interesting because you can't pay for construction. You can't you can't just say I want to pay for this and it'll just be built. Uh, you have to source the resources, and you have to source the resources from the border. So you can't just they don't just magically appear either. You have to go get them from the border. So when you buy resources, you can still buy resources. It'll just be at the border. You still have to bring it from the border. Uh, so it's a little bit it's a little bit more challenging there. But I was kind of waiting until they implemented the rocket because they had some um, they had some. Uh, photos of rockets uh, being built. And I kind of wanted to check that out too. I'm looking for the balloon station. Here it is. Technology. Balloon station can be used to send expeditions to faraway places. It's 15 by 15. It is quite large. That is almost as large as the beacon. Okay. Uh, well, I've got this big old spot over here I could use. It's not like I need the wood. Who needs wood anyway? So we'll place this, uh, eh, how about right here? Seems like an okay spot for the balloon station. All right, so it is going to take, first we have to remove all the radiation, which is, that's something they'll do. If they survive the drought, they'll do it. And then, uh, yeah, they gotta clear the building area, all the trees and everything. Then they need to deliver wood, scrap, cloth, metal, plastic, electronics, and then they build it. All right. So once we get that, then we'll be able to go off to distant places. It'll be fun. All right. We're in the drought. Uh, can we uh, can we maybe get a sandstorm? <laughs> just to spice it up. Just to make it really bad. Make it really bad. This is great. This is, this is great. Um, hold on. I think we need to have a decree here. Where is that? I got to remember where all my stuff is. Uh, here. Decree. I think we should be rationing water. Yes, I think we should be rationing water. Also, I think birth control is needed. Lasting decree. Uh, it pro prohibits childbirths. See, the last time I did this, though... No, nah, I don't think it's... I think it's fine, because really all that we'll do is it'll get unhappy. And once they get unhappy then they'll stop having babies anyway. It'll just That'll just naturally take its course. All right, they're going to ration their water a little bit now. That should help a bit. Need to get more of these pumps, definitely. Uh, and then there's also technology they've added lately with Prosperity, I think it is. Yeah, with the Prosperity update, also add these pumping stations, which um, work in tandem with... Is it in... Electricity or pipe system, yeah. Technology. So you can get underground, you can get pipes and stuff now and pump the water through pipes and stuff. So you don't need water carriers to move it. So we can have like, say, you know, these electric pumps, we can get pumping stations that will move it around. There's the sandstorm. Oh, good. Yeah, very pleasant to live here. Very, very pleasant. Hi, Wax Monkey. Welcome in. The way you, the way Okay, you way into this game. I'll go back and watch earlier episodes. Okay, so this, yeah, so this this stream is focused on just distant places. But if you want to see the entire colony built from scratch, if you want to, if you want to get into the beginning of how this was, uh, check the link in the description. If it's not there, it will be in the VOD. I guarantee it. Um, but you can also just go to the playlist tab on the channel and look too. It's season two. This is this is season two. This is what we did. It's uh, it was fun. This is a lot of fun. This, this uh, end zone is one of my, I would say it's probably, it's, it's easily probably, I would say top three of my favorite city builders. I'll give end zone my top three. And I play a lot of city builders, so that's pretty good. I mean, I don't have like any professional clout or anything to, you know, like why does my opinion matter kind of thing, but um, top three is pretty good. I like it. We got another trader here. What's up? <laughs> That is in my Ooh, pecan seeds. I want to grow pecan trees. Everyone likes pecans. I will give you 
mushrooms. Tibera's got only her very best of a lot. <laughs> I will give you mushrooms in exchange for that pecan seed. And you know what? You should give me some cloth, too. I... She just doesn't shut up, does she? I like her, but I'm trying to talk here, right? I'm talking here. Cool it, Tibara. I think I'm going to grab... Uh... Yeah, a few, a bit more cloth as well. We'll make this like a really fair deal. Cool. All right. Now, the better relationship you have with these traders, the better deals you can get there. So I've built my relationship up with her. So my, you know, trader's reputation, right? It's all the way up. Some of the traders are not that way. Some of the traders maybe don't like me as much, or we haven't traded as often. Uh, so I won't get as good at deals with them. But if you give them really good deals in the beginning, you can get better deals throughout. So it's like a, it's almost like an investment in a way. And Tibara was always a wonderful provider of cloth and joints. Both cloth and joints. That's good. All right. We made it through the drought. We're not dead. And uh, that means that we're going to rain now. And then our water is going to go way up. Up at the top, if you're confused. Again, I don't want you to be confused. Up at the top is our resources. You can see water's right here. And it's a climbing. Should pause it really quick, though. Before we do that, I want to see if my people have any requests of me. Tasks. Nope. Uh, here. Do you have any tasks that I should, that I should do? Anything that you want me to do? Where's the town center? I think it's like right here. Do you have anything you want from me? Comfy. Demands. Your settlers feel comfy and won't be so quick to make new demands. Okay, so they don't have demands. 1.1 season until they demand something. So needy. Okay, fine. All right, I'm going to tell them to build this next because I want to get going. This, this building looks awesome. Although I thought the front of it was over here, so now I'm thinking probably want to put in a road. Paved road around it. Something like that. Bring that up. And then I'm going to bring this all the way over to there at least. And we'll pave that road to there. I thought I already had dirt roads here, but I guess not. There's actually no road here at all. That's my bad. Oh, there's a road there now. At least eventually there will be. Sweet. SGG. Salute. How are you? Good stream so far? I don't know. I'm having fun. I just started, so... It might, it might go horribly wrong. I don't know yet. Hi, Mona. Welcome in. I said it. I'm going to say hi to every single person. If you say hi to me, I'm going to say hi to you. That's my goal every day. I'm sticking to it. I've been slacking on that. Oh, so badly. I'm so bad at that. And I'm going to get better. How many dead bodies do we have to pick up? Not a, lot, not a lot. There's a few over there, though. I should probably get those. Let's get one more. Yeah, go like this. Probably some person dead on the dock. Is somebody dead on the dock? Normally, when you get the dead bodies, you can see them just laying out in the, on the ground. They'll literally be laying out, but I don't see... I don't see anybody. Just look at the modeling, though. They did such a good job on the models. I missed this. I f I'm finding out that I've missed end zone. What is this? I thought I had my fill. I guess not. This house. It's a decontamination post, but... Honestly, the decontamination post looks a little contaminated to me, I think. Christian, hi, welcome. Playing The Sims 4 while watching this. That's good multitasking. How you liking The Sims 4? God, that's an expensive game to get into, isn't it? To play The Sims? I feel like I would just get EA Play. Doesn't, isn't that how that works? Is it Origin? Is it, it's Origin, right? The Sims? If you just get their subscription, do you get all the DLCs while you're subscribed? Because that's probably better. I mean, I'm not really a big fan of giving a ton of money to EA, but... Um, I mean, if it's cheaper for you, then you're giving them less money, right? 
Good morning, Anthony Starr. How are you? It's too expensive. Yeah, I, I mean, it's like... I think it's like $1,000 to play The Sims. Completely? Like, to get all the functionality of The Sims. Look at this nonsense. They're giving me three rainless seasons. Then a super heavy contaminated rain, where I'm going to cover my rain catchers anyway. Then they're going to give me some relief right before the drought. At least they give me this. If they didn't give me this, I would say this is utter BS. My microphone is blocking my my gorgeous face again. I'm sorry about that. It deprived you. New seed found. We can have a pecan orchard now. I'm into that. Let's see. Um, I mean, seriously, who doesn't like pecans? If you don't like pecans, I, I, I'm sorry. You're just, you're just weird. Just, you're just straight up weird. Pecan seeds. Time to cut these trees down and replant. New planting season. Yep, cut them all down. We have this little person here in their full radiation suit, hanging out in their full radiation suit. Marie, an adult in great health. She has metal tools, she's educated. Clothing's a little deteriorated, but she'll be fine. And she's been a water carrier most of her life. Isn't that nice? She's got all sorts of positive effects. She's not very happy. Had an unpleasant experience. Settlers who had a bad experience reduced their confidence by one for a certain amount of time. So just any bad experience at all will give her a negative. So like, I don't know, maybe, I don't know, maybe her best friend, you know, insulted her or something. I don't know. Like, maybe her boyfriend cheated on her. Bad experience. Negative one. Not my fault, but negative one. Uh, and then we also have, you know, if their home is damaged, she'll get deteriorated here. If we have unattractive surroundings. So decorations play a role in this. Unlike surviving the aftermath, where they're just fun to look at. You just put them down, whatever. In this game, they actually uh, they actually matter. A great deal, actually. If you go like this, you can see the attractiveness rating of all the buildings and where they live. Um, we have certain buildings that are yellow, have a negative influence, but um, it doesn't matter if they don't live here. Where they live, you kind of want to keep the negative influences down a little bit. So like probably shouldn't have put these buildings right next to the homes, but it is whatever. Um, but you can surround them with positive influences like the parks and the monuments and the statues and all that stuff to help offset that negativity. And so I shouldn't have any red places. Those are unattractive. Um, this one's pretty neutral and it is a, an upgraded shelter. I should probably make that better. I do have some decorations nearby, but I also have the scrapyard nearby, which is probably not helping much. So why don't we give this just a few more decorations? A little flower bed nearby. No, no, can't do, can't do that. Put one right there. One right there. All right, maybe like a little flag. Uh, I think I put a power pole there instead, didn't I? A little flag right there and maybe put a little torch in here like that and then maybe these wind chimes can go next to that you know just just some something that's pleasant to look at just you know put it in there and and get the surroundings taken care of i like it A little while ago, Steam had a sale on all the Sims 4 content. The price for all 53 deals. I had no idea there were that many. Jeez. And I thought it was bad, like when I was younger and like the Sims 1, I know, gonna age myself a little bit here. The Sims 1, back when I was a wee tot, middle school, uh, I remember getting into the Sims. I played it quite a lot actually as a kid. Um, and I remember getting for my birthday, my mom said I could get Sims Superstar. That was the DLC. That was that was sealing the deal because like I was really into the whole making videos and movies and things. And uh, I was like, dude, my Sim could go off and be a movie star. That is awesome. I want it. And I thought that was expensive because it's just like, my gosh, I have to pay basically half the price of the game over again just for this. And there are three others already. What? 
<laughs> Sims Superstar was my... That was my thing. Now it's well beyond anything. I, I, you could live in The Sims now. You could just That could just be your second life right there. It's crazy. Man, have I tried State of Decay 2? No. Nope, I don't think I've just tried... I don't think I've tried any State of Decay. Uh, yeah, nothing there as far as I know. How come these roads are taking forever? Are there any more builders? I actually thought settlers were the ones that took care of building, but maybe not. I know builders are responsible for repairing things. So if you, you know, zoom out here, you can see buildings that have slight damage, right? The environment's constantly damaging all your stuff. And I think builders are the ones that are responsible for going around and fixing them. So I, th I think I need a whole lot more. I'm gonna pump this up to like 150. I have 154. What is going on with my population? Have we gained like, I think I've gained like almost 200 people since I've started streaming. Jesus, this population. I, I do think I want birth control at this point. I think I need it. Um, I have 713 cloth. I'll, I'll stop her for a bit. Um, 713 cloth. I can get a bunny. Oh man, bunnies. We should get bunnies. We should, we're gonna get bunnies. I'm gonna give you mushrooms in exchange for these bunnies. <laughs> I probably should have got cloth from her too, but whatever. I have 713. It's not bad. Uh, anyway, so that's the attractiveness. And then you can also see a power overlay of my electricity grid. And you have to put power lines to distribute your power. And this is complicated, but it is what it is. Uh, you have to distribute your power with power lines all the way around. And this building doesn't have any. So let's fix that. Electricity. And we'll go right here another power pole which is right next to the, the balloon i think the balloon probably would have needed it too because it takes electronics so i assume that means it needs power this this over doesn't here doesn't have any power either Lame. that down there okay cool charles spencer Enzone really ended up looking big diff from the original. Huh? Original vids? What? What do you mean? This colony was already recorded. Like this is this is season two on the channel. We did all we did all this on video. It's just a long time ago. But I'm booting this up because the DLC that we're covering today is late game stuff. I always love seeing them build it because it's it goes incrementally in stages. Oh man, don't do it in the dark. Hold on, pause. Pause, I wanna go build it in the daytime. I wanna see it build. Come on. Speeding up time. Speeding up time. So that the sun will come out again. I was gonna sing tomorrow, but I don't wanna get copyrighted. I would sing it too well, it would sound real. All right, we'll go ahead and allow them to build this again. Look at this thing. Like these buildings, they all they build in stages. So they they bid a model for each one of these that's like in the stage of construction. That's that's dedication, man. Look at that. It just like as it constructs, new things pop into it. Freaking cool. Oh god, the balloon landed. We have our own balloon. That's it. Balloon station. Dun, da, da, da. Ooh. Okay. So we can plan expeditions. Expedition to the east, to the west, the north, to the south. Those are our options. Okay. So which one should we do first? What do you think? Huh? Maybe I was thinking of surviving the month. Yeah, yeah, probably. Which one should we do first? We go north, east, south, or west. Unfortunately, we can't do northwest. Or north by northwest. Oh man, I think we should get some more of the research going too. Do I have any? I've got two knowledge, can I get anything? I wanna try the pipe system, actually. I'd like to get that going. 
North? Oh, uh, you're the first to say it, so I think we'll go north. Uh, now, actually, there is something we can I can show you. Or there is something that could maybe influence your decision. If I go into the technology tree, in food and housing, if I scroll over, there is, from the balloon section, distant places, ads, lens useful devices. Technology will be automatically will automatically be explored as soon as the expedition to the east has been fully completed. So Lem's useful devices involve food and housing. Okay, that's to the east. Resources, durable structures. Technology is automatically explored as soon as the expedition to the west has been completed. Thing is, I already have this one, right? So if I do Lem's useful devices, that's nothing here. Like, I don't, I don't know where that is on the map, but like I have, I thought anyway, durable structures. I thought I did that already. Isn't that in prosperity? Oh, durable buildings. Increases resistance of buildings against sandstorms and raiders attacks. Okay, so this is something different then. Okay, cool. So resources gives me durable structures if you go to the west. Logistics gives me something called regular gathering of the merchants. And this technology is automatically done if we go to the north. And then electricity has one where improved power systems is automatically explored as soon as we finish the expedition to the south. So you actually get different things from going different places too. That might influence thy decision. I don't know. Uh, we are researching pipe system right now. I think we should do as many as we can. So like dawdling and trying to figure it out probably doesn't matter. Uh, I kind of like the idea of trying to get like the food and housing thing sorted, but I'm already very prosperous and people are already pretty happy and we have tons of food. So I kind of don't need that as much um, to where at night we have a big power deficit and I'm wondering if that we can improve that. So I'm actually thinking instead, I'm going to go south first and then we'll hit north after that. So um, I want to do the southern expedition. If I click this button. This is an SOS. We're on a ship off the coast. We don't have any supplies. If you hear this, if you find us somehow, please help us. So this is on a ship. They're on a big boat. Oh, cool. The background moves as I move my mouse, too. It's an interesting three-dimensional touch. This this tree and then this rock is like, it's like parallaxed, right? That's kind of nifty. So there's three stages to this, it seems. Um, we have some advantages. We can configure the expedition. There's lots of different things that we can prepare ourselves for to give ourselves an advantage on this. And that's what these are. So if we bring, for example, a person with a water carrier badge, like Marie, we saw her before, um, we'll tick this advantage. Um, we can bring a thousand water with us. We can bring uh, somebody who has a settler badge, somebody who has a well keeper badge, farmer badge, um, there's, we get an advantage due to bringing extra food reserves and ex extra rations potentially, um, right here too. Um, so like basically we want to check as many of these as possible when configuring our crew to go on this expedition. So if I configure this, we can see that, uh, the site looks promising, but the radar doesn't show what exactly we're doing with yet chief. We should send one of our scouts to, to check out the place first. And when we know what we're dealing with, we can start the expedition this way. See, the thing is, uh, I don't think you do that with this. Maybe my, I do scout it, but we already know this stuff. So I think we're just gonna send people with, with these resources. So um, people who are good and qualified for this uh, would be over here. I generally want to keep people who are not very old because they actually might die before the expedition leaves. And then, you know, like that's a spot that's not being filled. Um, so we could probably get away with just these three. If we go very old adult, I've, I've noticed a lot of times they die before they leave. But there's a lot of decisions here to make. Um, so we can probably bring, uh, she has two settler badges. We can bring Andrea, which ticks two boxes. Um, it looks like Henry's gonna give us our farmer badge. Is there anybody that has different ones? Yeah, this Thomas has got one that's different. Um, we could bring Henry for the farming, or we could bring. Oh, what is what badge is this? Oh, refiner. 
how about we tick? Uh, I'm, I'm looking for somebody who has two badges. Like I want to, I, I do want to min max that a little bit. It doesn't look like I'm going to be able to get that. So we'll send Henry or Judy, maybe even both. Uh, we want to bring, of course, all the water we have, the extra food, the decontamination kits, the expedition rations, the extra medicine, some coal, some wood, some plastic. We want to bring all those things. Um, we also want to bring additional, uh, looks like tools. Yeah, metal tools for everybody. And we're also going to want to get somebody with a well keeper badge. Somebody with a well keeper badge. Um, that's a toughie. I'm not sure we're going to get that. Also, a technician would be nice to have too. Let's search for somebody with well keeper. Nope, that's not how that works, I guess. I thought it would be. Um, how do I get... Yeah, I want to get people to have the badges. I may not have anybody with a technician badge yet. Which is weird, because I've got a ton of people. I've been making tools for a long time. Uh, this works. Yep, there's our well keeper badge. So now we're just missing... We're just missing this uh, technician. I don't see anybody with a technician badge. It might be out of luck on just the technician. Oh, got him right here. Samuel. Cool. So I've ticked all the boxes. Um, now we can send them with extra protective clothing if we want to. We don't have to. But if we send everybody with at least carbon masks, then we can ensure that they have that protection against radiation up to that point. And then that's probably good. This is a ship. I don't think there's going to be a huge radiation problem. Uh, and then we have action points. When we get to the ship, it's like a quest. And you're going to get... You're going to have to partake in actions, make decisions, etc. And you need one expedition ration for every action you want to take per person who's taking it. Um, so in this case, um, if we want four action points, we need 20 rations because I'm bringing this many people. The reason why I wanted to double dip these badges is to bring less people. Because if I bring less people, I don't need as many rations. But I want a lot of action points because this looks like a cool thing. I want, like, let's say 10 action points. Let's go 12 even. We'll go 12 action points, and that gives us, we have to bring 60 rations with us. We have 198 in stock, so that's fine. And if we don't use, um, if we don't use any of the rations, like if we bring too many, then they'll bring the rations back with them. We don't waste them. Uh, it just takes capacity. It takes our, our carrying capacity. So we may leave them behind if there's more valuable things. Um, for that reason, I guess we'll just bump it up to 75. Why not? Okay, start. So they're going to go off and do this. Now, in order to do this, they need to gather here at the balloon station, I think. Unless they gather at the expedition station. Ooh, we have a new icon now. Nice. Uh, so we do have some old adults. Not very old, but old. Uh, and the expedition station is responsible for making the... Ex yeah. The station is responsible for making the rations. And they have been making them for a while. I'm going to bring the... I think I'm going to bring the limit to 500 here though okay so now they just need to gather all that stuff up and once they've done that then we're ready to rock and i don't know got a little bit more to go on this progress here but they're gonna bring the supplies uh, reserved reserved in stock medicine do you bring this well i'll, I'll let them go but i think um should probably put even more people to work at the balloon station so that they help out bringing that stuff faster. So I'm going to go with like full on 20 on the staff here. And now they'll bring the stuff a lot faster. There we go. So when all of these bars are completely filled, um, we'll leave. Pretty sure anyway. That's how that works. Failed to fulfill demand. What? What demand? I had a de apparently they demanded something and I wasn't paying attention. Because <laughs> I'm a wonderful leader. Uh, sure, we've come a long way, but we believe the time has come for innovative ideas. You really ought to give a listen to what we had to say, Chief. 
People are forcing open the doors of the warehouses. Look at that. The shelves are full. Why do you keep us on a tight leash, Chief? Stop treating us like tools. Okay, so their happiness is going to go down a little bit, which is fine because that means their growth rate will go down a little bit. And I'm already growing it to an unsustainable level at this moment, so I, I, I really do think I need to decree no births for just a little bit. Just a little while, I think we're going to go no, no births. For three seasons, that's, that's fine. And then um, perhaps we do... Uh, we could do water rationing at the same time. It'll lower confidence by three, but I think that's still fine. I need to save water anyway, so let's enact that too. All right, no more, no birds, and you drink less water for a little while. That's going to be fine. Now their confidence is going to go way down, and that's going to have to be okay. We'll satisfy their confidence a little bit by going with the bulletin boards. So we have an unsuspected opportunity. Hunters tell us that the local wildlife population is on the rise. We have to take advantage of this opportunity to get some more protein on our tables. Okay. So the task is to basically complete one out of these. I need to gather meat. We're already doing wild boar meat because we have the farms for that. So I think this will just complete itself. Um, we're also, we have deer and stuff too with the hunters. So again, this is going to complete itself pretty fast. And if we complete these, then they'll get a little happier. We'll offset it by doing things they like. There you go. Why don't we comb the forest for, for that plant, Chief? Oh, oh, I didn't read the task. I thought we were done. Uh, I guess they found a they found an herb. It's cool. We have tons of gathering. So we just need to produce herbs, which I think we're still doing. Oh, we're at the production limit. Hang on. Let's up the production limit so that we can... One thing I don't like about how they do the quests is they always want you to produce more to satisfy the quest instead of having a spend to satisfy the request. Like if I have 20,000 herbs, this thing will still say, dude, you need to you need to gather 2,000 herbs. And I'm just like, dude, I have 20 grand of these. Just take what I already have. I'll replenish them, you know? So I have to raise the production limit to satisfy this because I'm already at my max. So where is herbs? Right here. See, I'm already at 8,600. So I need to raise this up to like more than 10 grand, I would think. I need to go like, yeah, let's just go like 12,000. And that will cause our herb collectors to go out and collect more because we're no longer uh, capped out. We almost have all the water. The expedition rations are almost delivered. We're super close to being able to go on this right now. I'm excited. Look at this balloon. Can I change the color though? I want to be able to change what it looks like, like really make it my own. You mean like a really bright red one or a blue one or like a bright neon green strip? I mean, the purple's okay, but it's not me, you know? It's just not me. Oh, it took off really fast. I had it at three times speed, which actually is five times speed, I think. There it is. I want to see it. Oh, look at this. Wish I could follow it. Like, easier than... I'll just use the... I'll, tr I'll try this. There we go. Slowly move my mouse with it. That's pretty sick. It's leaving the map. It's gone. Yeah, I had like five times speed, so that's how fast it took off. So we went on an expedition. Sweet. So now the expedition is traveling. And that progress bar has to go all the way to the end. Should we get started on this? Oh, I think we should. Let's upgrade that beacon while we're here. Might as well. This is the final stage for the upgrade on this beacon, which will make everybody happy still. Oh, they'll all be happy again. Producing more herbs. We have to produce this many before that timer expand before that timer runs out. And then can I get another one? It's only one at a time, darn. All right, so our population should flatten out here. Now it says it's declining, and that's fine. It should flatten out, um, like, over time on a macro scale. Because, again, we're growing way too fast. We're using way too much water. Um, yeah. I need to expand how much water we can actually handle, and then I don't have to decree that anymore. So why don't we put in another... 
Well, getting the pumping station will solve it. Yeah, I need three knowledge for that, though. What did I just research? Didn't I just research the pumping station? Or was it something else? I know I researched the balloon already, but I thought I triggered... I thought I triggered that. Unless it was something else. Hmm... I thought for sure I just I did that. Oh, we'll have to wait for the pumping station then. Oh, you know what it was? I, I think it was the, the I think it was pipes. Yeah, pipe system. Not the same thing. Yeah, so pipe system is done. Well shafts are built more accurately using this technology. As a result, wells and electric water pumps can be placed closer to each other without their working areas mutually influencing each other's productivity when obtaining water. So I, I can now place wells really close together we have 243 people unhappy is it because you can't drink water during a drought suck it up buttercup you're in my house now oh yeah you're gonna be really happy unhappy now aren't you mm -hmm. yeah bring on the pain now sandstorms are pretty bad they damage all your stuff so like if you you know, you can see pretty much everything is damaged now. I need a ton more builders to satisfy this. So I'm going to just like crank this up to like maybe 180. Yeah, I think maybe we'll go like 175 on the builders because they need to repair all these things, right? Um, but there's a positive with droughts. If you can get to the point in your technology when you're playing the game, right? This is mostly for people who are playing it and are maybe new to it. If you get to the point in your technology tree where you can get these, these are scrap catchers. Um, they're basically these structures, these net structures that are designed to catch scrap stuff as it blows past them. Um, and you can put a whole bunch of these down like this. And then every time there's a dust storm, they just fill up with scrap. All the stuff just gets caught in these. And so I have it set right here for my colony to be sustainable. And I've got 13,000 scrap in storage. Um, we have it to be sustainable here to where we have this farm here and then this scrap farm over here. There's a little bit over here too. And um, the scrap yards have this as the zone instead of having to go all over the map. And so every time there's a sandstorm, it actually is positive for scrap if you're low on scrap, um, which is good because we need the scrap in order to fix the houses and stuff from the sandstorm. Um, I'm gonna need strengthened metal 60 strengthened metal. I actually have 73 of it This is a new building as they've expanded. Um, I didn't have this when I played this series before either I'm kind of going through that too. It's called the material factory and it produces glass and the strengthened metal so um, I have enough strengthened metal now to make that happen with these two buildings and then we also transform it with the refineries and stuff which can get scrap out of these. And it looks like nobody's really doing that anymore because, I don't know, probably because I moved it. Yeah, probably. Um, let me go ahead and unpause these tailors. And they say their supply is too high, but that can't be, that can't be right. My production limit is only 200 on masks. Let's make 500 as, as the production limit, or I can go to switch. Why don't we switch to radiation suits, actually? Yeah, that'll be better. We can switch to radiation suits. We'll say 300 on this. They're going to use more resources, but these are significantly better. We don't want everyone to do radiation suits because it'll just kill my entire cloth supply. Um, probably will also take down the coal supply, too, but... Yeah. So we're about to get... We're like halfway done with the herbs. Honestly, we don't have enough of these. I think we're going to miss this. If I go herbs, 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 herbs. Where are you? Who's responsible for collecting herbs? Is it a gatherer? No. What? I'm, I'm blind or something here. 
Herbalist. There it is. I was totally blind. Crank that up to 24. Let's get more people to work this job. Because um, I don't think we're going to meet this requirement in time. It's like we're halfway done and it's, you know, less than half the time left. So hopefully we can speed that up a bit. This takes a while to travel, too. Hi, Plu. Welcome in. How are you today? Yeah, the herbalists. I know. I, it's staring me right in the face. It's just... Even now, I, it's right here. <laughs> even now, I can't see it. It's staring me right in the face. How's my pecan trees? Oh, the orchard. Right? They're going to grow. Our production limits are way up, though. Like, we, we have so much food. So there's no reason to harvest the, the crops and stuff. I only have 12 farmers. This whole colony has 12 farmers. This food is just super abundant. We have every, we have all, everything we need. No, we're good to go. Oh, there's, wait, there's a dead body there. Hold on, can I see him? There he is. He's laying there in the field. Do you see him? He was really hard to see until they harvested, right? They didn't even know he was there. They found him laying dead in the field and going, Oh, what happened to this guy? She turns him into a box. She turns him into a big red box. And carries him away. I don't think I've actually seen people... Oh, this guy just dropped dead. Oh, man. There's going to be a lot of very old people in the colony for a while because our birth rate, right? I, I said no births for a while. And that that's a problem, you know? We also have an epidemic now. Fun times. Yeah. An epidemic. Good. Can't wait. Oh, they built it! The beacon! The beacon! Look at this thing. I think it's done. Oh, they have a demand. Let them eat cake or research greenhouses. Hmm. She towel. Welcome. Hope I said your name right. So we ought to concern ourselves with the idea of a greenhouse in order to improve the growth of our plants even more. I mean, like I said, we have tons of food, but I might be able to like take some of the farmland away and replace it with something else, I suppose. Uh, a demand for cake. In the early days, we had to make do without, we had to make do without when it came to food. And now that that's behind us, we want to treat ourselves to more luxury in our diet. I think cake would be just the right thing. So a couple of things I have to consider here. One is, do I even have cake? Do I have cake? Prosperity, I think, right? Cake. So, luxury item cake can be produced from conventional food in a kitchen. Settlers who consume cake increase their confidence. Okay, we just need a thousand food and a thousand water. We have that. Um, I'm going to give them cake. Let's let them eat cake. <laughs> so, now I'm going to wait on this. A little, little metagamey. You have four seasons to accept this. Okay. You have four seasons to accept the demand. And uh, at, once you click this button, then the timer up here will start. So I can wait until I have the research and I've started to produce cakes before I accept this. I just have to remember to accept it. I think we're going to be okay on the herbs. Yeah, that extra herbalist helped a lot. So we're good now. I can uh, go ahead and remove that job. So we would only need this many on herbalists now. Ta-da! Oh, we actually found something, but the specimen is more of a small and weak one. We should handle it with utmost care. If we created an environment for the seedling where it can grow safely, maybe it might pull through. If we construct a module for our irrigation plant, our specialists think it has a good chance. So we need to just store 99,000 water, apparently. Which is above my production limit, I'm pretty sure. Uh, barely. Okay, so we're going to have to raise the production limit just to satisfy this. So we'll raise it up to like, I don't know. Let's go 110. Yeah. 
110k. Or I guess it's, yeah, 110,000. Uh, then we need plastic. We need 899 plastic. Again, I, I'm already good with how much plastic I have, but I have to raise how much I store just for this requirement. I don't like how they do that. We'll go up to 1,000 with that. And uh, the reward will be a seed that we don't have, which is pretty cool. Um, now we need to build irrigation plants. We need actually 11 of them. Yikes. Why do I need 11 of them? You suck. <laughs> All right, we'll build 11. We have one here. Um, I guess we'll build one next to it again. Here, we'll build another one. I mean, I'm just going to delete these as soon as this task is over with, right? I feel like that's all I'm going to do. I'm just going to build them nonsensically over here and then just delete them. Because we literally do not need this. Like, building this many ir irrigation plants is going to also cost me a ton of water. I'm just going to build them next to each other, as metagamey as it is. I, I don't like how they do the requirements in this game, so... We're going to go, I think it's this many. It's eight, right? I need eight. Yeah. Yeah, we'll build eight. Let's just let's just cancel this one. And we'll build it right here. So they'll build these in this nonsensical place. And then we'll pause them as soon as we can so that we uh, you know don't actually take those resources. We'll put something that we actually want to keep here. Uh, how about an electric pump? Water pump. I already have one right there, but they can be they can be built right next to each other now. Uh, so we'll go like that, I guess. Although these are very unattractive, I shouldn't build them right next to houses. Uh, how about over here? Yeah, next to the uh, next to the balloon. Still, these are warehouses. Okay, good. We'll build them over there to help us with water. Okay. So, like, we have to store all the plastic, too, which, like, it requires me to build 11 of these suckers. That's 300 plastic. I don't think I can actually do this demand. I don't think this demand is possible. Yeah, 11 is, like, basically, it's, 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 at this stage of the game, it thinks I should have 11, so it gives me that goal. But I don't need them. I've never needed that many, so I've never bothered. And uh, now I have to build those in order for, to satisfy the requirement. Which is cray cray. Real cray cray. They probably should have built these next to the scrapyards. Building them here is kind of arbitrary. It didn't need to be here anyway. Whatever. What? Oh, we have over 100,000 water. Nice. So now the pumps are just going to only pump. They're only going to do something when they're needed. So they're just going to keep us basically pinned at 110, which is awesome. I think I'm going to raise it up a little bit more. Just because I can. Uh, water. Water. I'm going to put this at like, say 150. We'll really just let, let this crank up a ton of water and storage. Okay, we have reached the faraway place. The expedition is waiting for further instructions. Let's go. Stop. Not one step further. What are you doing on the ship? Are you here because of the SOS? Make contact. Let's <laughs> loot and return. Yeah. Okay, so we can make contact. That's what we're supposed to do. Uh, wow, look at this boat. Sweet. Our balloon is right here. Ask for the captain. We picked up your emergency call. Is there someone we could speak? Uh, is there someone here we could speak with? Take us to your leader. Take us to your captain. Captain? Gee, well, basically, there isn't anybody like that here. We're all alone on the ship and sent off the SOS ourselves. Can I just admire also... Compared to the first season of Endzone, if you go back and watch that one and you can see how the the characters look like two years ago when we played this game and for the first time, like how the character models looked, this has 
so much higher detail now. Way higher detail than it used to. Uh, okay, so basically they're all kids, I guess. Are there no grown-ups? No, I'm the oldest one of us here. By the way, my name is Lila. At the beginning, everything worked really well on the ship. But then a whole bunch of things went wrong. We probably just had bad luck, and now all that's left are us kids. Okay. How can we help? That would be awesome. If you could give us a hand with our problems, then we'll be able to navigate the ship from there for sure. Okay. Look at this. Our rain collector was destroyed in a storm. Ever since then, we've been short on water. And we can't drink salt water, can we? Need a little desalinization. Okay, what's wrong? That's a leak. We wanted to patch it, but don't have anything suitable. And none of us really has a clue anyway. Well, I may have brought some supplies along. Let me take a look. Nifty. Thanks a lot. Do you think it can be repaired? Well, boss, the leak is pretty big. Maybe we should use plastic so that it's sealed really well. Our water carriers know about these things. So we brought people who have the knowledge, right? Uh, to do it. Um, we also have potential to use metal if we'd like to. Um, says boss, the pressure in the tank will be really high when there's a lot of water. We should patch it with metal so that it holds better. Our master builder says that's the best idea. And so we have a, this green bar here gives us a chance of success at this action. So this has an 85% chance of, or at least confidence. I don't know about chance, but confidence is kind of the chance of success. Um, so there's an 85% chance for this one. Plastic also has the same 85. Um, so we can do both of them as well. They just take actions to do. Um, so I think we'll first do the metal um, so that if we, you know, the rainwater and stuff gets in there, it doesn't overpressurize and things like that. So let's use metal here. Oh, that's ace. It already looks very sturdy. And it'll really hold up that way? Really? Truly? Now notice that took an action point. So we have 14 left. So those expedition rations we brought give us more actions we can do on the trip. Um, our water supplies are pretty empty, and I don't know when it's going to rain again. Could you give us some water? Well, we happened to bring some water with us, didn't we? Uh, sure, we can give you some. You can't drink salt water after all. We'll give them some. Yeah, really? Awesome. That sure does help us. It ought to last for a while. Looks like they gave us some electronics as a thank you. Kind of cool. Um, okay, so we solved the rain catcher issue with metal instead of plastic. I think that's probably better. It's metal. Uh, okay, so we did the rain catcher already. Let's go to something else. We have dry fields. Um, we also have you know, the a few outbreak. Days ago, everything was still okay, and then everybody got sick. I think it's because we didn't have so much to eat anymore. Okay. Here, come here fast. We laid them down in the quarters back there. So let's it see. It all started with plain belly aches. Nothing bad, really. Then it got worse and worse. Now Ben and Alba can't even stand up anymore. Poor Ben and Alba. Ben? Alba? That doesn't look good. The last time I took a look, they were still doing better. Okay. So, you've got a fever. Or we could look at the sick boy. This one here is Ed. He's sort of familiar with technology and stuff like that. But since a few days ago, he can't even get upright anymore. Ed, how are you doing? What did he say? He says he'll make it, but he's just playing the hero. I mean, just look at him. Okay, so let's do it. Boss, he's over here. He's really pale. All these children have symptoms of malnourishment. They've got to be taken care of immediately. So we can give them some of our extra resources, which 100% confidence will solve the problem. Give them nourishment. Um, the boy urgently needs something to eat. Otherwise, the, the, boy, the body can't defend itself against viruses and germs. Uh, should we see if we can give him some expedition rations? That ought to build him up, back up a bit. Luckily, we have enough with us. So go ahead and give him some of these rations. He ate a bit, and now he needs to rest. He'll be okay. Okay? Good. So there's the rations. We could also potentially give him medicine, um, and that will help us help him as well. 100% confidence to help him with medicine. 
and uh, he took the medicine that should help ease his nausea. Good. Now we also have this person with a fever, Dent? so let's take a look Alba? at them. That how bad is it? Can you do anything about it? They'll get better and be healthy again, won't they? We haven't really had anything to eat for days, and there's no medicine here on the ship either. Nowhere. Well, they're children. They're not even 15 years old. So they need some food. Looks like she hasn't eaten in days. Luckily, we have some with us. We brought extra food. We can do that as well as the medicine as well. So this this stuff here is taking us a lot of action points, right? Probably should look at fixing the ship, but I think the health first and then fix ship after is probably the best way to go. Um, that should get them back on their feet. And then we can also give them some meds uh, as well. Um, these extra resources here too. Uh, some water it looks like is what that was. Okay, so that takes care of the outbreak situation, which is great. We did the rain catcher already. Uh, I want to take a look at the silent motors for a second, actually. We'll, we'll talk about the dry fields later. We were headed towards the coast, but the ship has stood still since then. Something's wrong with the engine, I think. Ben would have known about stuff like that. Well, at any rate, a little bit. He just loves tinkering around. But he's sick, and I don't have a clue. It's a really cool boat. I'm just saying. The stuff you got going on on this boat is awesome. Yeah, exactly. It was loud here before, but now it's all quiet. Could you take a look at it? Sure. Okay, we got three steps with this. Running really low on <laughs> rations here, but okay. Uh, here are some controls to regulate the air supply. Good thing we got the right tools with us. There is an 80% confidence in this. Cleaning, uh, we ought to clean the cylinders. Theoretically, we know what to do, but we've never done it before. No worries, we've got an expert with us. An expert that's never done it before. Oh, so basically it's like a college graduate then. Adjusting. Uh, theoretically, we could adjust the gears. Our expert says he knows what to do. Okay, um, well, let's take the air supply first. It's an 80% confidence to fix this problem with our metals, with our metal tools. And uh, there we go. Air supply should be back online. It should work now. Wow, Excellent. nifty. To me, that's just a pile of steel and pipes. There's also this boiler here. We need that too, don't we? We thought all you'd have to do is burn up something inside. The main thing is something's burning. Yep, kids. Okay, so um, we got coal. I uh, probably should can't hardly read it. I want to want to rotate. There it is. Well, wood, garbage, and coal. Okay, so do we burn garbage, wood, or coal? Hmm. I don't know. The garbage seems pretty attractive. <laughs> Boss, coal would be the best thing to heat up the boiler, and luckily we've got some with us. Garbage. In a pinch, we could burn garbage. There should be enough on this ship. We could mix in some of our plastic. Yeah, that's good. Nothing like a good old pile of carcinogens to get it pumping in. <laughs> or wood. Work is just as well as coal. Eh, see, the thing is, I think we might be able to use wood for other things, potentially. Uh, coal is pretty useless aside from this, kind of, in this situation. So I think we're going to burn the coal. 100%. Can you say we can use that to get ourselves going again? Awesome. I'll tell the others. That'll make them happy for sure. All right, Silent Motors is done. Fixed it. Nice. Um, I think, though, there's one left, and that's dry fields. So it says there's some improvised fields here uh, right in the middle of the ship. Looks like the children planted something here. It should work, but it has to be irrigated really well. Yes, we should have watered the fields. It's true. But we just didn't have any water left to do it. Whatever was there, we needed for drinking. I know nothing about this, so this is potentially an ignorant question, but I have to ask. Can you water plants with salt water? Could you irrigate your fields and your, your food supply with with salt water? Could like just take it from the ocean and water your plants? I know you don't drink it because of the salt, but and potentially other things. Um, I know you don't drink that, but can you can you do that with your plants anyway? Like not a thing? No? Doesn't work that way? Cannot irrigate with salt water. Is there a particular reason why? Does the salt do the salt just actually kill plants? Is it is it, I mean obviously it's the salt part, right? But 
I, got, I never really thought about that. That's just like a, you know, yeah. Salt kills farmland. Okay, so it's the salt. Fair. We don't have a bit of food left either. If the plants on the fields would grow again, then we'd be able to harvest something there and eat it, right? Can you do anything about that? Yeah. Maybe. Chief, there is, there is an ingenious irrigation system lying here. If we get it back into shape, the little plants ought to be able to grow again. Luckily, we have someone al we we have someone along who knows their way around piping like this. Yes, the wellkeeper badge, the one I was trying to find. I was like, oh, I don't know about the wellkeeper badge. We got one. We brought an expert with us. Let's do it. Awesome, thanks. It's much better like this. With the water, the plants will grow again soon for sure. Oh, it didn't. It didn't actually. My stupid speakers again. Jeffers, Jeffers, thank you for reminding me to switch the alert sound off of my, off of, off of my, uh, uh, speakers. And, uh, thank you for the $2 super chat. I really do appreciate that. Thank you for the support. Uh, okay. So they're going to hey, grow again. We've gathered a fair amount of grains and kernels here. We have no idea. Can you just put them in the ground? Boss, it's not so simple. Each plant is different, but our farmer can give it a try. Yeah, he's 85% confident he knows how to plant this. That's ace. You really do know your way Pineapple around. seeds. I watched you, so next time I'll even get it done all by myself. Thanks. <laughs> do you want to take a few of the seeds with you? Guys. We're happy to share with you. Pineapple seeds. We can finally make a proper pizza. <laughs> And half the people leave. <laughs> uh, have you ever tried drinking seawater? I, well, I mean, I've had it in my mouth when I was swimming in the ocean. Um, it's very, yeah, it's gross. Um, like, I, I know it's not good to drink. I just wasn't sure if it worked the same way with plants. Because, like, there are plenty of plants that grow under, you know, plenty of plants that grow underwater uh, on, in the ocean. Um, but obviously, those are, like, adapted for that, right? So... If you were growing a bunch of seaweed up here, you'd probably be fine. Uh, but yeah. Pineapple seeds. Awesome. So I think that's everything. 92% it says. So there might be something else. And it looks like it might just be the farewell. Those were the worst problems, I think. It's nifty how you were able to help us. It's nifty. But maybe it would be better if you took off again now. Sure thing you've got plenty to do at home, too. At this point, we'll manage on our own. Are you sure? Okay. I think so, yeah. We're better equipped now. And thanks to your help, we've also learned some things about the ship, too. Are you sure, sure? For sure, yeah. I'm a pretty wild bunch, aren't they? A few dozen kids on a ship. But what are we supposed to do? Just give up? No, we'll make it. Well, you could always come back with us in our balloon. It's okay. You really can go now. We still have the radio in an emergency. Amazing that it works out here, huh? Ben gave it to me. Then I basically just tried it out. Okay, well, good luck. Hey, at any rate, it was a good thing you were there. I don't know how we would have done it on our own. Whatever. All I want to say is, thanks. Thanks a lot. So everybody, everybody just received the Explorer badge. Um, this is a badge you get when you have experience doing expeditions. Sometimes there'll be expeditions that you need a guide for, or you need someone who's experienced in going out of the colony. And so you'll require somebody with an Explorer badge. So five of them just got this. So that's good. Well, that's 100%. We're gonna loot and return. Uh, and this is where we get to decide what stuff we wanna take back with us. Uh, at this point, we could take back all of the expedition rations we have available or we could leave them behind if we don't need if we don't want them i like to take all the stuff that's not expedition rations first and it seems like we have tons of carrying capacity so i think we're fine lots of carrying capacity so this stuff is all light compared and the balloon apparently holds a lot of stuff so we will go ahead and hit loot and return with everything safe trip home and then that's it the balloon comes back isn't that nice Ah, oh, that's really cool. We could potentially do two at once if we built two balloon stations. I actually kind of like that for the purposes of the stream. We should probably build another one, huh? If it lets me. I don't even know if it lets me. Let's see. Uh, balloon station. 
You're only allowed to have one. So it's basically like Highlander. Got it. Okay, so. Do you think they'll build these in time? Or do we just like, I really want the seed. That's the thing. Like I want that seed. Seeds are hard to get. You, you only get them very situationally. All we need to do is deliver scrap. I'm gonna say I want you to build this next. Like somebody go out here and build this. There we go, build them up. It's just the scrap. Okay, so we need irrigators, right? We don't have any settlers right now because our population is declining like crazy. <laughs> no burrs will do that to you. Um, but that's good. We needed them to. We needed that to happen anyway. So we'll bring the number of builders down to like 100. I think we probably need our. Yeah, we need like 80 settlers anyway. Um, and then we'll get the irrigators. Make sure that there's enough people to satisfy these. Yep. There we go. Build these. Build it. Build it. Build it. Nine out of eleven. Now we just need a bunch of plastic stored, which is very hard to do since we just used all the plastic to build these. Now, what I want to do is I want these to not be active. I want them to be paused because I don't want them to consume the water. They don't need to consume the water. So I don't actually need them staffed. I just need them to exist, not to be staffed. So we're going to go ahead actually and reduce the number of irrigators back down to what it was before. Um, so again, we don't need them to actually be here. They just need to exist for this to check box. And then, so now it's all about plastic. So I would need to have more people in refining, which I don't have a way to do that. So let's get another refinery over here. I think this is a good place for one. We'll take the refinery. Yep this refinery right here. We'll build this, uh, I think right next to this. I don't know, maybe, maybe on this side or right here. This is good. We'll build this right here and I'll say build this next. We'll get people to work in these refineries, right? And then they can make just lots of plastic. I think we'll pause the other resources and have them totally focus on plastic. And we'll up this to like 2000 plastic too to really encourage them to hit it hard. We're not using any plastic to build the refinery, thankfully. I want that seed. I also get 106 plastic back as a reward too. So if I can just get myself to having 899 plastic in storage, be a-okay. Um, speaking of which, I think the radiation suits take plastic. Yes, they do. Uh, but the masks do not. You guys are going back to making masks now. Yep, just keep making masks, not radiation suits. Because I don't want you consuming the plastic. So hopefully we get this built very soon. Timer's really ticking down, dude. Ugh. That's gonna take forever. How does the piping work? Like the, I did the pipes, right? Logistics, I know the water point, that part's easy. I probably should have one of these actually over here. Did they take plastic to build? No, just scrap. Uh, another water point, like right here, I guess. And here. These are just little locations that people can go to get a drink. So they don't have to go all the way over to the plastic. Like all the way over to the water catchers and stuff. You just spread them out, basically. We are getting... This is crunch time, dude. This is so crunch. We just got the, the new research. So does that mean we have... As a pipe system and no was that it what did i just research <laughs> i 
what was it that was researching? It said new technologies are available. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Oh, it was cake. Right, the cake. Oh, <gasps> the cake. The cake. The cake. Accept demand. <laughs> I will give you this many cake. This many. Cake is truly what is is precisely what we needed. It's a good sign that we were able to treat ourselves at these times. Excellent. <laughs> Dirty trucker. Hey, how's it going? Thanks so much for the for the six dollars and nineteen cent super chat. I appreciate that very much. Thank you. Cake, yes, cake. I'm giving them cake. Cool man fight. What's up, dude? Are you eating cake? Cool man fight reminds me of a person who really likes to eat cake. I imagine he's got quite a lot of experience with cake. Most people cool. Most cool people have cake, so I'm gonna say cool man fights one of those cake people. All right, so now we just need to enable power for the beacon. I don't actually have power on this. Not hooked up to the grid. Oh, no wonder it's not done. Hang on. How are you not powered? You're right next to this. You're totally powered. You're surrounded by power poles. You are totally connected. Ah. I have to flippeth thy switcheth. Vroom. I don't know if we're able to do that, actually. How's our power supply working? We're at a deficit right now. Um, if I turn this down, pew, pew, pew. Are we still at a deficit? Okay, so this, this deficit is only during the night though, but it's a pretty big deficit and we should probably put in like a lot more power, right? So I'm thinking our next construction tasks are just putting in a bunch of these turbines. What if the turbine goes here, here? I like how I have to be a certain distance away from the turbines, but it's totally fine to be really close to trees. My favorite part. All right, those are perfectly spaced out. We'll build those two. In my opinion, you should have to, it should be a requirement that you clear the trees near these wind turbines for them to be effective. But alas, it is not my rules. I am but a pawn in this game. We'll connect those up there too. All right, but during the day, we're, we're fine with the rain, so. I'm gonna flip the switch. <laughs> Overload, never mind, can't handle it. Okay, fine. So in order to power this on, we have to have a really strong grid. Really strong electrical grid. Okay. Okay. Well, I mean, we could just flip one switch. No, that's not how it works. Okay. Never mind. The balloon has not returned yet. If you're just joining us, hi, this is End Zone. Um, this is the Fedora Colony, if I remember correctly. And it is from season two on this channel. If you want to see this colony be built from scratch, check out the playlist. It's linked in the description. I really should find out if it actually is linked in the description. Because I feel like it may... Yeah, it is. It's linked in the description. Okay. So, um, linked in the description, you'll see the full playlist. This was a really fun colony to build. We had a, I had a lot of fun with this one. Uh, but we today, we're exploring some late game content. Um, it's the Distant Places DLC that was just released by Assemble Entertainment. You can see a link to that as the first link in the top of the description. And it'll, it'll bring you to see more about Distant Places. I don't think we're going to get this, guys. I think it's just, it's just not meant to be. Um, I mean, I might have been able to spawn one of these guys. In hindsight, I probably should have said, hey, some trader, come here. This girl has plastic. I could have potentially bought the plastic if she showed up, but uh, it doesn't appear as though I'm gonna be able to do that. 
very well. Unfortunately. We should see who this mystery trader is, actually. Oh, actually, I think this is just random. Random. Okay, so we know who all the traders are. And we can say, I want this person to show up. And we can we can get her to show up. Susan Malfi. You can come on over. You're not going to be here in time, unfortunately. But that's just the way it is. We're going to see if we can't get as much plastic as possible here, but I doubt it. It looks like they're also... They're still doing the metal. Maybe it was already earmarked. No, they're still doing all this stuff, so... I don't know what these pause buttons actually do. All that work for nothing. I know! You wanted me to make a ton of plastic. I just had to give it to you. But you're like, no, dude. Make 200 more. Silly. Very silly. So now I didn't get the seed. I hate those requirements. They're really... That's, that's probably my least favorite part of the game. Is that they make you do new ones instead of allowing you to pay what you already have stored. Had a lot of cake yesterday. Hey, there you go. What's up, Sticks? Justin Kettles, welcome. I'm doing pretty good. Huh? I got everybody, right? I've said hi to everyone. I'm doing pretty good at that. That's gonna be a personal mission. That's my, that's my mission from now on, is to just make sure I say hi to every single person all the time. Mm, I mean, I don't have to, like, you know, delve in on it, but... For the sake of the vids. I want to make a new like power grid expansion out here. We're going to make this whole thing just nothing but tons of power. Basically, this is going to just be a huge power area. And I think I'm going to line it with wind turbines because... Well, I think it just needs to happen. So we'll say turbines are what we're, what we're going to do. I have a door... Well, have a... Uh, a, a Oh, 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 oh. I can't speak. We'll have a road here. Okay. And then we'll also get a... There. And there. I like how it shows me the efficiency numbers before I build it. Instead of me going, oh, well, I, I think it's this as far away. A lot of games do that. If it's not actually constructed, it won't reference it in its efficiency number. Okay, we'll do that. And then hopefully this gives me enough for a solar collector in between. So I was hoping for solar collections in between these. I need to spread them out just a little bit more. Yeah, we'll spread this out just a, just a little bit more. I'm making a big old power grid out this way. This takes metals, electronics, scrap, all these all these resources we have a ton of. It doesn't take plastic to make these. So we'll have these ones exist. Um, but then I think we push the solar collector like this. And then we get the wind turbines. Actually, these ones can probably stay where they are. Although, if I want more solar collectors... Yeah, no, I don't think they can. No, I think we'll... Hmm. How do I want to play this? Solar collectors can be right next to each other. We can go like this. And then leave an extra space or two. Like, maybe something like this. And then we can put the wind turbine between them. That's acceptable, right? As an option. That works. It'll work back here, too. So if I put it, like, right here. Flip this over. This would work. And then this one goes here because that one worked then I should know that this one will work and then the solar collectors can go on this side after the cars are out of the way go about like this then like that 
Then we can have batteries in the gaps. But we have to get the scrap out of the way first, so. Scrap yards, you have other jobs now. Aren't you happy? You don't have to just sit around here all day. You can actually go somewhere else. Doesn't this make you happy? Yeah, you can go there. You actually get to leave this little area that's... Uh, you were very bored here before. I know you were. I know you were very bored. Where is the other scrapyard? Yeah, this one. Let's have this one also go this way. Let's get that scrap out of the way. Um, are there any other scrapyards I should be... Uh, you're pretty close, actually. I should, I should change your place, too, to be over here. There. So we'll have this as, like, a... You know, the infrastructure begins like this. And then we just line this with power poles. Connect the whole system together. I think we're going to get a drought. What do you think? Looks a little bit like a drought, doesn't it? <laughs> and then we can also put batteries in between these two on the sides. Oh, yeah. That's a good spot for them, actually. Just line the edge of this batteries. Sweet. So that's a huge expansion to our power. Um, and then I'm kind of hoping if we can get the balloon back, which it's got to be very close to returning. There it is. It's back. Nope, that's the trader. What do you got? Hello. I was just passing through and still have some space in my, um, airy storeroom. If something interests you, maybe we can do some bartering. Lots of electronics. I'll just fly on. Lots of electronics interest me. I will give you tons of food. And I will give you, I think, a bunch of sand for the glass. Um, I want some plastic too. I don't need a whole lot, but I do want some. And then the radiation suits will max those out because those are always great to have. Just give you as much sand as I can. And then how about some hard liquor? You don't have a whole lot of hard liquor. Pass on that. Strengthened metal is really useful, but I think it's also pretty valuable. We're just going to bump this up until we're right here. I mean, I could make her really happy but I don't have a good reputation with her anyway. We'll go like that. I'm glad you found. Okay, good. We'll get a bunch of stuff that way too. Green Raptor Interactive, welcome. Charlie, what's your favorite cake? My favorite cake is a dream cake. I don't know what a dream cake is. The dream cake, like just a cake you, oh, that's our balloon. Dream cake, just the cake you get uh, in your dreams. Makes sense that that would be your favorite. So these are locked, actually. We can't we can't do this one anymore. So now we can send people off to another place. Um, Bluesy was talking about the north before, so I think we'll go ahead and try that. Okay. So, we have, we're, we're ready to go here. The, this is not hard to meet as far as advantages goes. So, he's up in the like, snowy areas. Okay. Well, um, site looks promising, but the radar doesn't show exactly what we're dealing with. So, um, we are going to want people who meet these requirements, of course. Metal tools is a given. Always metal tools. Uh, we're going to give all the electronics, scrap, wood, and cloth that's required. And then we just need somebody who has a charcoal burner badge and a person with a technician badge. Okay, well, that's this person. So that's just the one person. Pretty cheap. Um, but just in case we want to haul things back with us, we should add more people to the list. Uh, we can also get explorer badges on more people this way too. Let's go ahead and make sure that we uh, isolate this to only people who are adults and very like, young. Uh, we'll go ahead and grab, say, Pierre. 
Uh, let's do Joaquin and uh, these guys have no badges at all, so we can give them some experience, I guess. Brittany and Daniel, you can come with me. And then we just, again, take, it just takes extra rations. So we used, how many in the last one? We used like 10. I think we'll bring 12 with us. That's 60 rations. 12 action points seem to be okay with the last one. This one might be longer, but eh, lucky number 13, right? Go. All right. So we'll have that. We'll go off to the north this time. While we expand our power grid, it is going to take a bit. Lots of wood and scrap and stuff needs to be brought over here. We're running out of settlers. I'm running out of people. I really need you guys to have babies. <laughs> now I need now I need more babies. I told you, every time you stop the... That's a school. You're wondering what the sound was. Um, every time you do the birth control decree, it always ends up, like, backfiring. That backfires a lot. What's this tempting offer? One of us recently spotted a herd of goats roaming around. If we only use some food to lure them closer to us, then we could capture it and bring them into the pasture. Okay. Sure. Um, we will use berries, wheat, or herbs. We have a ton of herbs, but I don't know if they're going to want them. I guess I could just... Yeah, a thousand herbs. Okay. We were able to lure the goats to our pasture. That was a really good initiative, Chief. Thanks. More goats. Good. Um, we have field testing. What's this? It says, our researchers have come up with a new idea. They're not quite sure whether the plan could work. If you could provide them with a few materials to begin testing right away. Okay. I gave them everything they wanted. I don't know what that was, but... Uh, it looks like I cost me wood and scrap, and I gained knowledge. Cool. I'm at two knowledge now. What else you got? Dead bodies in our streets. I think we can take care of that. Uh, we have... We have to assign one more mortician, and that is it. So, hold on. Stop. Mortician. Done. Okay. Good. I'm just trying to make you all happy, okay? What else you got? Uh, epidemic. Doctors experimenting. Need medicine. Cool. We need to produce more medicine. 1704. We're currently at how much medicine? What? Can't I just, like, give you... I have 16,000 medicine. <laughs> Come on. Ugh. Well, okay, I have 5267 medicine, but still. Let me see. How much medicine are we making here? Can you switch to medicine? Thank you. Uh, do we have another hospital somewhere? We have seven of these things. You're making medicine. You're making medicine now. And you're making medicine. Storage capacity in this building is running low. That's fine. Everyone's making medicine now. Maketh thy medicine. So that we may get this in time, hopefully. That's a pretty high number. 1,700 medicine is... Crap, man. I control the birth by housing. Yeah, I mean, I have... I have, I just... I have a lot of housing, so... The rates... We're going to start getting more population. I think it's going to start going back up think population numbers right it starts to dwindle a little bit here right and to fall down total population was at its peak 1263 that's when i put the decree in i think was it here no that's the drought and sandstorm so i'm pretty sure that's when i put the decree in was here and then uh it began to decline it is now at 994 total but see kids right nobody's allowed to have more children and then once the decree ended, so this is the decree, and then the decree ended after three seasons, one, two, three, and then they were starting to have kids again, and now it's on the rise. So we should, th th this this problem is like inflation, okay? It's, it's, it's transitory, it's, it's fine, it's very temporary. Uh, let's go, put a, too soon? Maybe too soon for that one, for that joke. Uh, there. Uh, uh, okay. 
And then uh, the power poles still need built. Otherwise, these things aren't going to do anything. So if you guys could maybe build the poles too, as you go, would be helpful. Yeah, get that built next, the pole, so we can connect it to everything else. Um, we actually may not be able to connect these two together. That may actually be too far away. That would suck. If it is indeed too far away. I can't click this. There it goes. I want to build all these poles so I can get them going. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to make this much medicine. I think this much medicine is just unattainable. Switch it all to iodine. or uh, Everything should be off of iodine right now. It's all medicine now. We have 805 iodine tablets. I'm actually curious to see how, how fast we go through those. Oh, our balloon's gone. I guess they left. Sweet. Water tank level. Oh, what's this? Doesn't have electricity. I can help with that. I mean, I actually thought I already put a pole here, didn't I? I cannot click this power pole. Isn't this pole... It's got to provide to that already, right? Hold on. Yeah, that'll definitely work. That'll hook it up. Then we can get that water supply added. And then we have a local... Like a local pumping for water. Which it gets brought over here, but whatever, you know. Let's upgrade this water tower as well. And... The epidemic breaking out is a problem. Only, there's only two people, though. So we, we're, like, we're making tons of medicine, so that's fine. We don't have a lot of settlers anymore. I'm going to pull some people off of water carrying. And I think... Let's pull one off fishing, one off hunting, one off cooking, one off herding. Farmers can go down by like three, probably. And now we got a decent amount of people who can carry resources around. We're almost down below 800 adults. It's really, it's really shitty. I really did a number on my population. I was well over, I was almost 1100 adults when I put that decree in. <clears throat> With three knowledge, we should now be able to get pumping stations. Pumping station conveys conveys water from lakes though it doesn't require any workforce it must be supplied with electricity in order to function pumping stations require upgraded water towers to be able to make their water available at the settlement so i can only put these in range of an upgraded water tower which i happen to have quite a few of them so that would be okay um we also could use a factory unit right now around the place uh, it consumes different resources like concrete reinforced metal and glass in order to increase the efficiency of neighboring production buildings. So if I want certain buildings to produce faster, I can put one of these next to it. Comfortable shelters, make people happy, probably a good idea. Large number of settlers, this is an upgrade. I think we upgrade existing, existing houses with this. I like this actually, let's do this instead. I've got enough water. Let's do this instead. I don't know what I just clicked, but I don't, I don't like it. <laughs> what is that? What? What did I just click? I hit something on the keyboard. Oh, F1. Oh, it's like the 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 thing, like requesting features and things. I actually have four. Ooh, should we go black back from the past? What did we request before, and have those things been implemented? Let's see. Oh, this is like gonna open a web browser. No, oh, did not connect. Never mind. Privacy issues. I wish I could just view it right there in that interface, but I get it. It's fine. 
if anyone's interested, maybe I'll leave it as a comment on the on the video later of what it was that I requested in those. And I'm sure we did it. I'm sure I talked about it in the previous videos or something, but yeah. Okay, huge surplus right now, which is awesome. All the batteries should get, be getting full now. Shouldn't have any empty batteries. And that's the thing. You want to have as many batteries as you can. And none of this stuff has power. It's because this is disconnected. So you are all connected together, but you're not hooked up to the overall grid. We need that to be in, and then that will hook everything else up. Okay. We can put a bunch of batteries over here by uh, by our dead. Right? Just a bunch of batteries over here. All the... All the dead people can just help us. Help us help you. Help me help you. Uh, I'll put something decorative here. Something that can make people happy, like a wind turbine. It's not decorative, but it'll work. It'll make people happy. It makes me happy. That's all that really matters in the end. There. I'll put another one of these over here too, why not? Okay, lots of construction for power. Let me just kind of get the power to go this way, and it goes over here and goes this way, and connect it this direction, and then this direction, and then this direction. And that should take care of all of our power needs for a little bit. These are not hooked up either, so I guess we'll... This is going to hook the rest of this grid up. Let's do it. Let's hook it up. Good stuff. Okay. Excellent. game is very interesting to say the least it is i think i really do recommend watching the playlist from the beginning i do um obviously this is a giant spoiler for what happens eventually but the process of getting to this point is a really interesting thing i had a lot of fun with this series i mean i'm tooting my own horn here saying you should watch my playlist but you should watch my playlist you should we play a lot of games on this channel that are very similar to this um you know in theme you know the, the whole city builder genre is kind of what the, the channel has been built on and uh, I have interest in other genres. Don't get me wrong. I, I definitely have interest in other things. And I'm going to be playing other things, too. I'm still... I'm still iffy, but I'm still, like... I want to play through... I want to play through Cyberpunk. I know it's definitely not... It's completely different than the genres of the channel. But I still want to see the whole story. You know? I think I'm going to wait till the next the next patch. There's supposed to be another patch that comes in that's um, that's adding some stuff, adding content. So I, I want to wait for that, and then I think I'm going to hit it from there. And you know what? It'll be one of those things where it's just like, yeah, I know. Nobody's watching. But I am, and I like it. It'll be one of those gigs. Let's get a water point over... Uh, they may be here. These guys have to walk a long way to get water. I'll put one right there, too. Alright, so they'll build all of this. Hopefully by using the scrap that's locally stored right here. Because it's right here. Uh, and then... Yeah, we'll get this stuff hooked up, hopefully, soon. Not hooked up to the grid yet. But it will hopefully be soon. This, this post right here. I need... I can't click it. This one, right? Oh, almost. There. Build that next. And then this water can get hooked up to the grid, too. We are now under 800 population. Yee! Come on, guys. I know you're... The kids need to grow up. Damn kids, grow up. <laughs> All of our adults are so old. We're losing settlers. The number just keeps dropping. We're going into a recessionary period here. Again, too soon. Uh, we're about to have a big slowdown until people arrive. We need more people. Um, I think I could probably put something here, though, right? Like, I wonder if, I wonder if a turbine will fit here. And it will do so with 100% efficiency as well. Well, good. Come on in. That's great. 
That's fantastic. All right, now we have master grid. So can we do it now? Can we turn this on now? 53,000 surplus. Flip it, flip it, flip it, go. Grace, 356 seasons ago, our ancestors left the protective end zone. Despite all the risks and dangers, we have found our path to the good life. We have made it through 43 droughts, 28 sandstorms, no raids because I didn't have them enabled. But this would be effectively the end game, right? We led an existence in harmony with nature. We were able to tame its perils and have learned to make use of treasures to the benefit of our prosperity. We have 10 out of the 19 possible seeds, four out of the nine possible orchards, and five out of six animals. We didn't, we didn't get rabbits. I don't have hair. Um, this flourishing town has 944 buildings. Just a little bit under what I, a thousand mark. 979 inhabitants alive live today. Okay. Fully cleared expedition locations. Only one? We gotta do better next time on that. Definitely. Uh, yeah. I mean, I got a lot. I got a lot of the expeditions done, but I didn't fully clear. I probably, the end zone is the only one I fully cleared, and that's why it's not on the map anymore. Uh, research technologies, 36 out of 58, and unlocked 72 out of 84 possible buildings. Cool. It's an honor for us that you are continuing to stand by our side with your advice. Now we have the means to shape our life here according to our own ideas. What do you have in mind, Chief? All right, so that is that is literally the end of the game, I guess. The end, the end goal is to build that and have it work and all that, so that's great. Um... I'm obviously gonna keep playing because I'm doing the expeditions. That's what the point of this. But this is the prosperity DLC. Once you build this, it's like the pinnacle of your success as a colony. It's building this beacon, which is uh, pretty nice. Hello, green print. Welcome. Junk punk? Junk punk? What's that? Cyberpunk is awesome. People. People give it a bad rep. It doesn't deserve it. Maybe it did at launch, but it doesn't deserve it today. It's fine now. Comfortable shelter. That's what we're getting. That's what we're researching. Comfortable shelters. You can't see it because it's underneath my... My gloriousness. Um, but there's an icon in the bottom left that gives me the progress on the expedition. And uh, it is... It's very, very close. It's right here. So it's almost... They've almost reached their destination. We're going to see what's going on in the north. We'll probably do every every direction once today for this stream. We'll, we'll, we'll do the, you know, south, north, east, west. Um, we'll do at least level one of each one and see what they're like. Uh, Sophia. I don't know if that's something we can ignore. Um, but you're the chief. Failed mission task. It's because I couldn't make all your meds. All right, I already have 6,000 in storage, but those weren't good enough for you. So, whatever. They're just like, you're just being picky, you know? Now I'll just power. Uh, he wants to use the filter system in our water tower for a few experiments. That's fine. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? Oh, you want me to store 134,000 water? Is that it? Is that all? So stupid. <laughs> so stupid. This needs to be a fixed number. I, it needs to be a number that if you are already over this number, then you are good. Having to raise my water storage capacity just to fit that is silly. I don't have to this time, but I've had to in many other tasks. Coal's, coal storage, have to put more in. And then I need to deactivate the coal filters on all of my water towers. Oh, good. That's that's good. Maybe I have to do it on all of them. I have five of them. That's not that many. 
Well, when I have these two boxes checked, I'll go ahead and do that for you. Okay. The expedition has arrived. Also, we have demands. What do they want? Cake. More cake. Or soap. The desire for cleanliness, says the person in a full body suit. Some places in the settlement smell pretty nasty, Chief. He says through his environmentally secured mask. Soap was uh, If soap was available to everyone, the daily hygiene would be a lot more effective. Soap or cake? Honestly, soap or cake? I think so. I think cake. Okay, cake. Let them have cake. Always cake. Ah, uh, good. They got the cake. You happy now? Got your damn cake. Uh, to collect this water, I'm going to open this up on medium. Can we do that? Yeah, it already is. Okay. I'm going to open this up to medium contaminated water just to fit that requirement. Okay. So, we are faraway place number two, the north. We're going to the north. It's great that you've come. It was slowly getting kind of edgy here, but that shouldn't stop us. Look at this gorgeous spot I found here. I'm trying to get him to talk louder while also not having the music too super loud. I might need to adjust it. Their voices are too quiet. I, I tuned the the audio down for the traders because the traders talk pretty loud. All of these guys is so far they talk pretty quiet. I wish they were normalized to a to a level. Uh, okay, so we have 13 action points, and we have all the requirements to get them done. So let's do it. Fabulous, isn't it? I landed here and knew I wouldn't be leaving this place so fast again. You've got to grasp opportunities where you find them. I'm sure you were able to help me get this door open. Okay. So it says, uh, we can open the door with a bit of skill, boss. The lock seems to be worn down by the weather. This shouldn't be a problem at all with the tools we have. Now, that is a 70% confidence. We can also try the a bar here. It says there's a large bar lying next to the crates. Maybe we could use it as a lever to lift the door off of its hinges. That's a 50% confidence. So we brought our own tools. We should use our own tools. Gives us a little bit of an advantage. And the lock was worn down. A few deft moves was all it took to get it open. We got 50 scrap for that. The waiting outdoors in the snow really paid off after all. Naturally, the passageway is still a bit dark, but I can't get rid of the feeling that we've got something very special ahead of us here. Perhaps. Sure, it's dark, but what could be dangerous here? Let's go through. Uh, looks like 65% confidence in going in the this, or we grab torches. A little bit of light wouldn't hurt here, boss. We can't even see our own feet. There are some wooden uh, slats here that have towels, with, and we have towels with us. We brought cloth, so we can make torches. Let's do that. All right, good. We got some. We got some. Uh, some torches. The floor is full of junk everywhere you look. Now we can avoid tripping over everything. Nice. Ah, what a fabulous place. It's hard to believe, but this building probably used to be a kind of box. Just picture it. Tables and chairs, a crackling stove in the middle, a little music, good conversations, long evenings, and a couple of good drinks to be had at the bar itself. A pub at the snow-covered end of the world. You know, I can hardly believe it myself, but a vision is planting itself solidly in my mind, my dear friends. We have to get the bar back in shape and make it shine like new again. Like, it's great voices, great voice acting. I just uh, wish I could hear it. A good bar needs electricity, of course. After all, there's a whole bunch of equipment standing here that would benefit from it. I brought along my trusty generator. We can make use of it. Would you like to haul it in from outside? Okay, so we can haul the generator in from outside if we want to. Um, this looks like Frostpunk. <laughs> Big generator in the middle. We just, you know, go around the outside. <laughs> like, look at this, like this heat right here. Like, see? It's a freaking cold and everything is covered in snow. According to the signs, this big machine in the middle must be a heating stove. 
Should we try to get it going? Hmm, we could. Yeah, it would heat the whole place up, wouldn't it? Instead of his generator, we could do that instead. Yeah, it's actually pretty chilly here. Do you think we can get that big thing up and running? That ought to make it really nice and toasty for us. It would us. make it nice and toasty for us if we brought coal. I'll admit, it's a few years. It's the century past its prime, century isn't it? But at any rate, it's better than prime. nothing. All right, so the fire chamber is covered in soot. Um, we should give it... We could give it a thorough cleaning, or else nobody will be able to get the fire going. Uh, so we should let our charcoal burner take a look at it. So person with a burner badge. Or, we just give it a complete overhaul. Um, this thing is full of holes. It's in desperate need of an overhaul. We should, we should especially check the ventilation. Luckily, we have someone here who has the technical know-how. So 75% confidence in giving it a total overhaul. I'm going to take that. I can already see that cozy fire crackling away. Then let's put on the heat. All right. It just crossed my mind. Just crossed my mind. Fuel would be a good thing. Do you see any here? Yeah. Uh, so there appears to be a fuel stash on the side in the firing chamber. There's still a ton of coal in it. Can we uh, light it again? Our expert says that the coal is pretty damp, but we should try it anyway. We, we just have to sort out the damp pieces of coal. That's a good idea. 100%. Okay, so good. One of those settlers uh, got a charcoal burner badge out of this, like apprenticeship. Watch the watch the pros and learn how it's how it do, how it's done. Uh, we got a fire going despite the dampness. Sometimes you just need a little bit of skill. Oh, how wonderful! Oh, how wonderful! At last, I could sit down and, uh, next to a crackling fireplace and make myself some mushroom tea. Grab yourselves a few chairs, take a seat, and join me. Mushroom tea. That sounds different. Listen, all, uh, we should probably be heading home soon. <laughs> Mushroom tea sounds different. What a shame. Oh, that's a shame. But Would you come back again, won't you? Too. Sure. Did I really complete my task? Is that it? In the meantime, I'll do some tidying up and keep the fire going. And I have one last request. He has one last request. The fuel won't last forever. And I'm afraid I'm a bit short here, and I'd really prefer not to burn up the chairs. So, could you maybe bring some along with you? Of course, only if you don't Okay, so he wants me to bring some fuel along if it's not too much trouble. Gee, I knew I could rely on you. I simply knew it. You've already helped me get a lot further. I'm going to name a drink after you. I might call it the boss. Wow. Okay. Sure. Um, so there's some other tasks we could do. Um... We're not done yet, but it doesn't let me proceed to anything else. Um, I guess I could go to the entrance. Yeah, that's how to do it. Um, so we have the heat is a check mark. We have lots of stuff here and also the bar. So I think. I mean, I mean, I guess we could do the generator thing. I don't think it's necessary anymore. I'd rather do the lots of stuff actually. Come on and help me clean. Oh All right, we'll help him clean this stuff up. So he says, uh, although I was able to get a very good look inside when I landed, there was no way for me to see this cluttered mess. But even so, I already know exactly what I'm going to do with this corner. Yeah, this is it. The day customers are supposed to sit here and tell each other stories while they enjoy the delicacies of this world has to offer. Come on, we shouldn't waste any time. Where do we begin? All right, so we've got a shelf, we've got furniture, and we've got trunks. We should empty the shelf. Um, we can... Uh, old chairs and furniture all over the place. We can't leave it like this. We can barely get through with so much stuff laying around. So he's basically wanting to have like a... Almost like a... Way out in the middle of nowhere... Bar? Like... Cavern? Kind of thing? Here? Is that what he's planning to do? Like a, his own snowy cantina? Is that what we're getting here? Uh, trunks. Or some trunks, boss. We should see what's inside them. I think so. You're welcome to take the stuff from the chests with you. It's just in the way here. That's a lot of stuff. We're welcome to take the stuff, he says. Uh, nothing you find here is nothing you'd find on an old map. For years, I traveled with my balloon from place to place, and now this might just turn out to be a new home for me. Here in the midst of the snow, isn't that unbelievable? So we're gonna get scraps, wood, uh, some scrap tools, some activated carbon masks and some decontamination kits, and then one of our settlers just got a technician badge. All right, cool. How about the furniture? Let's um, tidy it up. 
I like how it changes too. It looks better. It's already a lot better like this. It's a lucky that thing that you found me here. After I set off my radio message, I waited in the snow for help. There was no way I could know if anyone would receive it and then come and get me. And if I had left, someone else might have grabbed this wonderful building for themselves. Uh, I would never have forgiven myself for that. So, yeah, cloth is here. Some more wood. Another settler badge for technician. Uh, and then we should see what's in the shelf. Great. More stuff. Lots of loot here for this one. We can bring it back with us. So this says, um, this way nothing can crash down anymore. Speaking of crashes, it's not my first visit here. I ran into some snowstorm, into a snowstorm back then, and had to make a forced landing. I thought my time had come, and then I spied a tower in the midst of the all the raging snow. That was how I got here the first time. Unfortunately, the door was locked. What's more, I was short on supplies and I had to leave it in a hurry when the snowstorm died down. Getting a whole bunch of stuff and then scrap collector badge as well. Let's check out the bar. We have six action points remaining. I think we can clear everything. Um, or we can just bring the generator in, I suppose. But I think that's the least thing. I think the bar is where I want to be here. No kidding. It's a bar. No kidding. Even the right kind of stools are here. Are we lucky or what? This place is as if it was made for us. Of course. Is it any good? Of course. It's still good for something. You'll see. It won't be long before the beverages are bubbling away here. But first, we have to look and see what this precious gem has to offer. So, small chamber here and also drawers. It says the drawers look interesting, but they're locked. Should we force them? We got the right tools. Let's try and break them open. Cool. Um, so it looks like uh, there's all kinds of useful stuff in these drawers. Let's take them with us. Hard liquor. Yep. All sorts of good things. And then inside the small chamber, we can uh, just use that and uh, open it up. Excellent. There's even storage space for utensils and glasses and bottles here. Not to mention the jam. Not to mention the jam. Yeah. Some more of his mushroom tea, maybe. Uh, can the bar give you mushroom seeds? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Doesn't look like it so far. You're having a fantastic day, Super Fedora, Fedora dude. What's up, Dark Dragon? Good to see you. Welcome in. I wonder if the guy at work is named Ol Sorensen. I'm Norwegian. Oh yeah, is that what it is? The his the O is a little bit weird, huh? He's got that special character O that's probably indicative of perhaps Norwegian. Sure. Yes. Ind Indeed. Has it never crossed your mind to produce scrumptious jams? Why, have I been perfecting my jam recipe all these years? For what? We'll get to that. But first of all, let's take a look at the closets and cupboards that in here. All right, cool. So we have force it open or use skill. We only have four action points left. We actually, actually might have brought just enough rations here. Um, so we can force it open with skill. Sorry, you can force it open, because we have the stuff. That's going to be a 75% confidence. Or we can use skill with metal tools and uh, our crowbar. Let's try that. Awesome. Here are some rusty old tin cans. Must be canned food. There's something written on here. Could be a date. I wonder if the contents are still edible. We found uh, resources of type plum. We found some plum and some peaches, as well as hard liquor, some more liquor. All right, sweet, 87% done. I think we'll hit the generator now then, and uh, we have three action points. There it is, awesome. It ought to supply us with enough power to create some cozy lighting here and run one or the other piece of equipment too. Cool, so the generator's gonna be like electricity for this, for this guy. Hmm. hmm, there's junk and chaos everywhere here, so he's trying to figure out where to put it. A lot of you have some say in the designing. After all, we're something like partners now, huh? What do you think? Where should we hook up the generator? We can either do it... Uh, I'll just read both of them, I guess. It says, uh, up here, boss, in a little in a little hut. The floor is stable over here in the corner. The exhaust fumes can escape better here, too. But we're going to have to connect the generator with some cables somehow. We've got cables right here. We brought electronics. Uh, or we can use the unused wires that are here. Some of these unused cables. We can hook up the generator to them, but first we need to mount it somehow. Brought some scrap along. Eh, I'll use the electronics. I'll give the guy a good place. One small, uh, one small step in the direction of a fully operational bar. Nice. Got the technician badge for that too. That is 100% of the north. 
We did the Noth. All right, we'll loot it in return. We should have enough. They had a lot of loot here, dude. 13,000 scrap available to take back. We can only really take 260. Oh, sorry. My bad. We have 13,000 and the settlement. Okay, that makes way more sense. Way more sense. So 260 scrap available. We'll take that back. Wood, scrap tools, masks, contamination kits, um, plastic, definitely, the metal, the cloth, all, basically everything, unless we're short on space and then we don't need the rations but yeah we're good we can take everything back we only take 45 percent of our pack this is the advantage of bringing extra people by the way like why bring more people if you know they don't have the skills it's because they can they can haul stuff back they can carry stuff with them um so it, it makes sense to bring more people if you if you can you yeah. know all it costs you is extra expedition rations so we might as well uh loot and return safe travels home sweet Look at this beacon, just it's like a lighthouse in the middle of the city. This is all of a sudden a really nice place to live, isn't it? I bet the, oh yeah, 79, 80, they want to live right next to this. This is the best place to live in the whole colony. These guys over here are like 61, 35, and they're not, they're not bad. I'm doing pretty good at providing comfort. Whoa. Oh, right. My, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, so I metagamed this. So um, these little hedges and stuff provide beaut beautification. Um, and if you line the houses with one space behind them instead of butting them up right next to it, then you can just put all these little shrubs and just line the back of the houses with all these shrubs. And it, all these little blue shrubs provide a bonus. And so I just, I just line them up with all these shrubs that, of these hedges. And they all provide a bonus to the area that you place them in. So all these houses are, these are all houses that I, I messed with it like that. So yeah, over a hundred because of the hedges. There's like some seriously crazy noise going on upstairs right now. Like I don't understand. Pretty sure my kid is not home. So it must be the dog. She'll find like. She'll find like her, you know, like bones, you know, things to chew on, some of her toys, and she'll carry them across. She'll carry them over the hardwood floor and just drop them. She'll pick it up and drop it. Pick it up, and drop it. I think she likes the bang. I don't like the bang, but she likes the bang. I think just, just bang when she drops their stuff on the floor. It's her new thing. It's very, that's very recent. I, I don't want her to drop it on the floor anymore. Uh. All right, got some. I don't know if we're gonna be able to do this. I mean, we are getting more coal stored. It's getting there. But I think we'll be able to hit this one. But the water storage, yeah, we need to get the collection right here. It needs to be rain. I think what it is, is my production limit is up. Like my storage limit is up, but I don't physically have the room for them. I think all these rainwater, well, there goes my theory. I thought all these rainwater collectors were already full, but that doesn't seem to be the case. We might be able to get this. They need to be there simultaneously. So 134,000 water and the coal at the same time. Come on, let it rain. Rain, rain, rain. Oh, this coal, come on. What's, are we, you, do coal. Who else can do coal? Can you? Iodine, do coal. Everyone, everyone switch to coal. We need a, th we need a thigh coal. You, switch to coal. Uh, who else, who else, who else? You, yeah, coal please. We don't really need the cement anymore. Okay, we have the water requirements. Just need to get the coal now. Come on, come on, come on, come on. A major portion of the water reserve stockpile seem to be contaminated. I know, let's do it, we're gonna do it. Oh my gosh, now it's, again, we need to produce more water even, it's ridiculous. More coal production. At least we're double dipping the requirements. Like, both of these are getting triggered on the exact same requirements. Unfortunately, it's stopping rain, and we're going to end up not having enough water now. This is going to dip under the nu under the number now if it's not if we're not careful. Just don't quite have this. And almost. Oh, Scott is so close. No! Damn you! All right, just this once, because I want it. We're going to open up the rainwater collectors for the heavy contaminated rain. Uh, uh. 
Stop. Okay, alt. Uh, off. 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 Yep, off. 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 I think that's all of them. They're all off. They're deactivated. They're, they're deactivated. I did it. What are you? Check the box. <laughs> what the heck? Are you like still in the middle of working or something? Is that why? Damn. It's not checking the box. I don't know why it's not checking the box. Oh, I'm only cycling the upgraded ones. I need to cycle the non-upgraded ones. Where's the non-upgraded ones? This one. Off. Yes, the non-upgraded ones. Off. 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 All right, they're all off. Checkbox. Boogie. Get it. Got it. Jesus, that's ridiculous. Cool, thank you for the reward. And then I can now produce this. Turn this back on. All the towers, turn it back on. So silly. What a silly requirement. Uh-huh, yep, and we're good. Okay, it's back on now. Excellent, uh, you can upgrade you, thanks. Then where is the, this one, upgraded ones. Cycle through the upgraded ones too. There we go. Turn the filters back on. And we're good. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Mr. Different, welcome in. Yeah, the normal towers. They're cycling through a different it's a different cycle. I, I didn't I didn't notice that. Let's upgrade you as well. We might as well upgrade them all if we can afford it. No, oh, we need to have one water tower for this one. Ooh. We're going to produce... We only, we just need to produce water here, not store it. I like that one way better. Good. We made the progress. Everybody can be happy now. All right. We have way... We have tons of water, tons of food. We're, we're super stable. Uh, the only thing we're lacking right now is cloth. We really don't have a good enough system to, to make cloth. Um, we need we need to get a better system for that. I'm I'm thinking about like if I was still gonna play this colony, you know, like if I was continuing this after the stream, I would probably expand to have a little colony slash civilization out this way, and like wrap it around the mountain and like get this whole thing to wrap around here. But as it is right now, I mean, we really just need these things to turn back on. Yeah, I just need to create out all, all the resources. Actually, add our production limit for uh, for plastic right now. Can they not get to this? Well, they absolutely can because they're delivering resources. Let's just have them build this next. All right, she's here. Hello. I was just passing through and still have some space in my um, airy storeroom. If something interests you, maybe we can do some bartering. Otherwise, yeah, I'll just fly on. I am pretty interested, actually. Um, in fact, I would like to get my relationship with you better, just for later. So here's what I'll do. I'm gonna do this. All right, I'm gonna make a really good deal with you so that you really enjoy this. No, that's not what I want to do. Post fair barter deal. No, no, no. I wanna, I wanna do like. Yeah, get bring this up. There we go. Oh. I don't have that many expedition rations. That makes sense. You can have my decontamination kits then. Then I wanna bring this down until it's a happy deal for you. Good. Mm, that sounds like an amazingly good offer. I've gotta admit, I wouldn't have expected that. Maybe I ought to come here more often after all. As for me, we can gladly take this deal and um, negotiate it. Yeah, for sure. Close it. Just get my, just give her a slightly better deal this time. You know, 
No big deal. Another epidemic has broken out. Got tons of medicine. 6,000 medicine. I'm just waiting for the balloon to come back now. No? I could probably send some people out to do other expeditions while we're waiting for the balloon. We have 300 rations. They're still making more. I'm waiting for my population to increase, though. Now that we're in the green here, we should see birth rate go up. Um, we get higher efficiency of movement, higher rate of reproduction, and the new modern settlers that are born during this period will also live longer. I'm not entirely sure why that is a thing. Maybe it's like being born to a happy family or something. I don't know. Um, also, I think I should probably mark yeah, that. I don't want. I want to close these during. Honestly, with as much water as we have, I can probably keep these closed during mediums. The coal will be more than sufficient to filter it out for the low, so it's fine. And if I was to close off my fields and my water to low, then all my water source would be completely uncontaminated and I probably wouldn't need as much protective gear or iodine pills and things like that. Like I wouldn't need as much iodine pills. Although I really don't need that anyway. I'm not entirely sure why I wouldn't what the reason for closing them during low contamination periods are. I mean, obviously it's healthier, but to what extent? Like, does it, is it noticeable? Am I gonna actually see a difference? I don't know. That is a question I uh, do not know. Kinda wanna bring, yeah, solar back behind this. Put turbines on the other on the opposite side of this. An accident has occurred in one of our scrapyards. Luckily, no one has died as a result. Besides damage to the building, some workers were injured too. Okay, that's fine. I got people in poor health. They'll live. They'll be fine. Put a battery there and here, and then also get a, another wind turbine uh, on this side, like that. And then also we'll do one here. And then a battery can go here. So like this. It's more than enough power generation for everybody. Look at all the power. Oh man. All that amazing power. I need more water towers, I think. Do the uh, do the upgraded ones have higher capacity for storage? Is there a way to see that? I think it is twenty thousand. To where the smaller ones that are not upgraded, this is twenty thousand as well. Uh, smaller ones that are not upgraded is to find one first. Regular water tower is 5,000. Wow, that's a big difference. That is an enormous difference. Okay. Um, upgrade the tower. Make it so. Upgrade them both. Make it so. Our balloon has arrived. We are ready for our third expedition. This time, we go east... Or do we go west? Let's see. Lem's useful devices is for the east. And the durable structures from the resources tab is to the west. We're going to do both. So just curious on what everyone else wants to do. East or west first? We're going to do all four of these before we wrap up the stream today. Maybe the, for the times you have no other way to counter the effects. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if if I have proper medicine and proper like medical care, like I feel like the low contaminated water is fine because they can take medicine. You know, from a gameplay perspective, I mean, it's better that way. Um, I wouldn't necessarily think it's like 
something I want to live by in my in real life or anything, you know. But yeah. I said north last time, so I won't pick one again. <laughs> Why? You afraid I'm gonna go I'm gonna go uh inverse bluesy on this? Dark Dragon wants to go west. Alright, we'll go east. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we'll go east. <laughs> Do I have a connection? Or has the stupid antenna shipped it out of place again? Whatever. <clears throat> In case someone out there hears me, here are my coordinates. I could use a couple of helping hands. Previous technical experiences. Um, an asset. Okay, so... Advantages seem pretty easy to hit. You know? There's an old guy out to the east who needs a pair of capable hands to help him out. So, looks like we just need people who have good badges and tools. And that's about it so far. So, um, we'll take uh, Andrea here, who's going to tick three boxes for us. We're going to make sure that we bring metal tools on the expedition. And then we just need somebody with a wellkeeper badge, and that's friend San Francisco. I don't want, though... I can avoid it. Andrea, how old are you? Oh, you know what? I might I might need to take different people just because um, Andrea looks like she's very old. I'd rather get the experience on the younger people, right? So we'll take Fran San uh, Francisco as opposed to San Francisco. Um, we'll take Teresa or Teresa, depending on how you're pronouncing it. And we'll take Salvatore. And uh, then we can take, let's say, I don't know, Louise can come along with us. And let's take uh, Iker. Iker? Iker. That should be fine. And then for last time we had 13, we had just enough, right? Um, I think probably that's a good number, but we'll go 14 this time just to be safer. So do it. Expedition time. Going off to the east. Just take all of all San Fran, right? Yeah. So West will be the last one we do, and uh, I'm sure it'll be great. That's probably where the San Francisco people are. They're out west. I'm scared. What do we expect from the San Francisco people? Um, isn't the, yeah, food station. We don't have enough of these. We should get food stations stationed around here, too. For the times when people want food, but they're not really close to the farms and stuff. The storage units. I know, just put, put a few more of these out and around. No big deal. It can't hurt. That's good. Okay. So we got a drop coming in. Gonna be uh gonna be easy to deal with because we have tons of water now. Thanks to two of the demands and stuff that were made, we have tons of water. What do you guys think of this so far? This is a, do you think this is okay DLC? I don't know how much it costs. I haven't looked at the price, but you know. You know, the fact that you add you add new expeditions, it's a small change. Um, relative to the whole game, it doesn't really change anything about the, the overwhelming majority of your gaming experience. But the thing is, like, I'm only doing level one for each one. It might progress with two and three. It might get progressively harder, more challenging. Uh, it might be also more rewarding as well. You, you might end up with, like, really cool technologies. I haven't... Um, there's no way to tell what this does. It just says it's automatically... Well, you'll automatically get it if you explore the west, like, fully. Right? Same thing with the north, south, and east. Um, the electricity one seems great. Improved power systems seems great. I probably overspent on my electricity. But as it is right now, I don't really need any more power. So, you know, this is one of those things where if you were playing this... 
if you were playing these expeditions as you were building, it would be more attractive and more valuable to you than if you already had an established colony that was like done and perfect. And then just like, oh, by the way, you could do these things, right? That does kind of take a little bit of it out. I don't know why I'm expanding my power. I literally don't need any more forever because I'm just obsessed with expanding my power. I mean, they basically already delivered this stuff, so I'll let it go, but it really didn't need to happen. My surplus is 70,000 during the day. That's kind of wild. We're back up to 900 adults now. Don't you like it? We have 134 settlers. Let's add some builders. We're going to need it if the sandstorm comes in. How is the house conditions? No, that's not this. It's this. It's our building conditions. Looking pretty good. Got this one here needs fixed up. Everything else is pretty solid. Slight damage here, and that's it. So this is like the only building that's just not being fixed, and it's paused. That's why it's paused. Turn it back on. Charcoal kiln. Oh, you're just burning wood. I don't even need to do that anymore, do I? I could just have this building destroyed. I will have the building destroyed. It's ir It can't repair it. Seems cool. On sale now, so five bucks each of the DLCs. That's pretty good. I would definitely say five dollars is worth it. It's gonna, I mean, you have to, you have to look at like how much time you get out of it, right? That's how I do it. I, I don't care whether they place a, a price tag at 10 bucks, five bucks, two dollars, 70 bucks on a DLC, whatever. Like, it's all about, to me, what, how long does it provide me with an increased experience, an, an enhanced experience in a game? How how much time is it gonna is it gonna cost me, and to what extent is it is it good? So like, if it's a really good improvement, but it only lasts a really short time, lower price. If it's not that big of a deal, but it it lasts throughout the entire experience and it alters it slightly throughout the entire experience, like say Perfect Storm, for uh, Prison Architect. Then I think it's worth it, you know, a little bit more. You know, if, if it's if it's more, if it's it's more integrated into the game's ex overall experience, and it's going to take hours and hours, um, I, I tend to say it's more worth it. To me, anyway, it is. Hey, look, I can destroy all these now. Isn't that nice? These stupid irrigators. I get to destroy all of them now. Because they are completely unnecessary. Thanks, game. I could just leave them up in case that comes back, but I'm not going to. I'm taking them down. Just out of spite, I'm taking them down. They're just making tons of stew. Kitchen, make cake. You make cake now. All the stews. Look at this, we have a thousand people now. Now the population's going up. Now we're gonna have a problem with water again. Now it's like expanding the water grid, <clears throat> which is good because we just got, keep going to pipe system, pumping station. Let's go get this. Take the water from the lakes. Yep. Let's go get the pumping station. That's going to probably going to help us with our, uh, our water and stuff. And then pipes. Can we do pipes? I haven't seen anything like laying pipes. I haven't seen any indicators for that. So but maybe it's automatic. Like if I put a pumping station down, maybe it'll be automatic. We'll see. But now we're well over a thousand people again. And a trader has arrived. Hello. Hi there. What's I'm up, lady? Susan Melfi, meteorologist and flying saleswoman for a versatile Oh. We've had that one already, right? Have we I apologize. But I really do get around a lot. Which uh -huh. is why I've got a number of things with me again today, too. Take your time and have a look. See? She says she gets around a lot. She knows what she's talking about. I'll give you some cement and I'll give you a bunch of scrap. Uh, dude, I'll just give you a ton of scrap. Like, I'll just, all the scrap. You could have it all. And then uh, all the radiation suits. Love it. How about like all the electronics too? I'll add uh, some scrap tools in there. You can have almost all of our scrap tools if you want. Yeah, cement. You can actually have the cement instead. 
Uh, metal tools, I'll trade you for the scrap tools. I have to create more for this, but eh, we'll just go like this. Then uh, concrete, nah. Doesn't really want anything, does she? Just the cloth. I can give her a little bit of cloth. I don't want to give her a lot. I, 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 cloth is too valuable. I think I'd rather have less tools. Yeah, we'll just do something like this. Uh, less electronics. Right there. That sounds like a fabulous deal. Good. Close it. Message retracted. I can't imagine what she said. <laughs> what did she say, huh? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Guess we'll have to find out later. You have to tell me later. Ooh, I'm getting alerts. I'm getting alerted. All right, we have almost reached our, We have. We've reached our destination. So, the expedition to the east begins. Has someone just landed there? If you did, then press the button at the gate. The intercom only works when you ring the bell. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Dude, he's got crazy eyes. This guy's awesome. Oh, I want to be just like you when I grow up. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, intercom only works if you ring the bell. Okay. Well, let's ring the bell. Rotten luck, San Francisco says. It's bolted shut, but there's some speakers up there. A bit improvised, but in a good shape. It looks like we'll have to ring the bell. Cool. Well, then we'll ring the bell. Hello? That's too much for me. The bell actually works. Who's there? And much more importantly, do you have the potatoes with you? This, <laughs> this is the first big visit in years. Nonsense. Decades. I must say, this is... Can you hear me at all? <laughs> Did you bring the potatoes with you? The connection is bad, boss. Uh, should we keep trying or look around here first? I think we should look around just a little bit. <clears throat> Strange crates. <clears throat> There's several crates scattered around here. They look pretty sturdy. Thank goodness we have enough tools with us to break them open. Cool. We got scraps, metal, some scrap tools, piece of cake. Cool. And uh, so continue thy conversation. Hello? Damned antenna. I knew that. I'm opening the gate, okay? The roof. You hear me? There's an antenna on the roof. All you have to do... The line's gone dead, boss. <laughs> he said something about an antenna up there on the roof. It's probably broken. I don't have a clue how we can get up there. Well, there's a ladder over here, or there's a porch roof. Uh, so let's read both options. It says, at home, this ladder would have ended up in a junkyard, but it looks pretty stable. That... S stay stable. Yeah, uh, okay. That's, uh, let's just hope that none of the rungs, uh, snap when we go up. Luckily, we have someone along who knows about scrap. We'll find out which rungs aren't sturdy enough to bear our weight anymore, and we can bypass them. So there's that option with, uh, 90% confidence. Or, uh, there's a porch roof outside the building. Looks sturdy at least. Could be a difficult climb though. Probably not for the faint of heart. We're all young and agile, so we can all do it. Yeah, yeah, we brought the younger people here. 75% confidence. Eh, so I, yes, if I let the youngsters do it, then, uh, you know, like, that's a flex, but they might get hurt. Maybe the 75%, we haven't had any failures yet. And then there's the ladder, which is much more confidence, and we can do things structured in a good, in a good smart way. So let's try that. All right, some of the rungs creak a little, but the ladder holds our weight. Nice. I actually deleted it because I, I hit enter. Oh, okay, I see. I see. You hit enter on a half a message. Got it. Up here is the antenna, and it looks like a fuse box is in the corner. 
That weird guy says something is broken here. It looks pretty improvised. The weird guy. Uh, so the antenna looks pretty improvised. We could try to fix it. Our specialist is familiar with the systems like this. Uh, we're sure we can get the antenna fixed. Give it a try, 90%, or fuse box. It's locked. Doesn't look like we'll be able to get it open. The cables look okay from outside. Maybe there's some loose, a loose contact somewhere here. We can kick it. 50% confidence that it works if you kick it. I kind of want to kick it just to see what happens. Ah, we failed it. Unfortunately, just kick it doesn't always work. Doesn't seem to have an effect on anything except a sore foot. Nice, okay. I figured it wouldn't disrupt this one, so I just figured I'd try it anyway. We can try to kick it again, it's 50% again. But let's do uh, the antenna. It does cost us a ration to fail. Um, so we'll try the antenna here. All right, perfect. We just need to move it around a bit. Bend a few wires. Got some electronics out of that too, nice. Holy taters, you've repaired the system. <laughs> Welcome, my helpful guest. My name is Neb, inventor and third generation builder. I welcome you in person, but my mother always said you have to be careful around strangers. At any rate, since you're already here, then do take a look at my technical marvels. Go right ahead. You'll be amazed. Third generation builder, been in here for decades, still listens to his mother about strangers. Go on. Just take a closer look at this gym. That's my potato harvester. The only problem is it's not working at the moment. Just so you know, I love potatoes. They can be boiled, roasted, mashed, baked, stuffed, and french fried. Not to mention the chips. A life without this wondrous miracle would be a tragedy. This guy is obsessed with potatoes. It's probably like the only thing he's been eating the whole time. All right, broken device over here. Uh, we have 10 points. We also have a strange apparatus on this side. A gem, isn't it? Just look at it, and it was all my idea. And then we have a covered machine over by the workshop. That over there? No need to concern yourself with that. It's just an early prototype. Yeah, we're going to look at it. Nothing beats a well-functioning machine. Well, soon to be well-functioning. All that's left are a few parts. Then it's ready to go. But that's no concern of yours right now. Just leave it covered up. Why? It's a secret, get me? And it'll stay that way until it's ready. Things unfinished aren't show, my mother always said. It's going to be a masterpiece. No two ways about it. You'd better take a step back or else you'll break something. I bet that's like something we... Like the next step. We'll see what it is. Um, maybe this time if I continue, but... You know, like we keep coming back here like three times, and if we complete it, we might figure out what it is. Oh, we better have taken a step back, Chief, before that thing, whatever it is, falls apart and hurts us. Okay, we'll do what he says. Or we can just look below it. Just take a peek. Can't wait to see what's under the tarp. Do you think Len would notice if we just took a quick peek underneath it? Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Hey, what did I say? Don't peek, step back. It's a secret, a very special one. My secret. You didn't touch anything, did you? I certainly hope not. Okay, okay. Okay, fair enough. I know how it is. As a kid, I was always inquisitive. Pa had to hang everything on ropes so that I couldn't get to them. But I got my fingers on most of them anyway. Say, do you feel like helping me? Okay, sure, what's up? Let's give him a hand, boss. Sure, it will help him. I knew that I could count on you. Listen, there's a settlement northeast of here. It was once my hometown, but you've got to watch out. The place is highly contaminated with radiation, and you need special gear. There are some components that I need for perfecting the machine. You've got to get them. Oh, that's peculiar. Oh, that's interesting. Did he open up another location later? That's pretty cool if he did. Um... How come... I want to go back in. Go on. Just yeah, yeah. A closer look at this uh, let's That's do the I strange apparatus. Do. Just look, you sit on it and push the pedals. And in the cauldron that makes this, that, um, what's that thing called again? Okay, the hook goes round and round. Great machine. Moo Moo Cows. Hi, how are you? 
Uh, what I said was, or wanted to say was, did you see my message about Taylor Swift's blank space? It's the perfect Kerbal theme song. This is going to take forever or we're going to go down in flames. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. That, tell me if the high price is worth the pain, huh? Uh-huh. It works. Have you been playing Kerbal lately? Is that where you got that? I mean, what should I say? It broke down. There were, um, teething problems more than once. Do you think you can get it up and running? Yeah, maybe. Let's take a look. So we can oil it up. Device sque uh, squeeze like crazy, boss. It just needs a little oil. But the mechanics are a bit confusing. We should have a specialist look at it. We've got similar technology in our wells. Thank goodness we brought someone along who knows this. We could do that, or we could just replace it. Uh, surely we'll find some spare parts here in the machine. What a mess. There's so much junk just lying around. Well, let's fight our way through it. A couple of parts looks like they're in pretty good condition. Surely our technology can tell us more. Uh, no, I think we'll just oil it up. It's fine. Oil is like magic. All it takes is a little bit and suddenly everything works. Now all I need is something to stir. Hmm. I'll see to that later. It's a cauldron, man. Guys, guys pretending to making witch jokes. All right, the broken device. Go on. Sorry. Out of luck. One of the tires has gone flat. I'll have to disappoint you. I don't have any potatoes for you. I'm sorry, but my own. Well, I used them up. That's the word. They're all gone. That's how it is. Uh-huh. All this for potatoes? Yes. Potatoes! That poor thing actually ought to be working on the fields there. But it's not running. I'm not the youngest anymore, you know. Can you do something about the tire? Yeah, we'll take a look at the tire. Been rewatching your Evil Genius vids. They're really good. Hey, thanks. That was a lot of fun. Watching Quill play it. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, Amy was listening to it. That makes sense. Uh, we got repair and replace. Pretty, pretty straightforward. Uh, the tire's flat. We could try to fix it, but that'll sure will require some talent. The rubber isn't in the best shape anymore. Uh, but we have someone with us that knows how to do this kind of stuff. Or we could replace it. Uh, it says, boss, there are tires. Uh, there are tires here, too. They're in great shape. We just need to take them along and mount them. That shouldn't be a problem with the tools we brought along. Yeah, let's just use a different tire. Well, uh, we got 80% on this one. Right. The tires. I forgot all about those ones up front. It ought to work with them. I'll give the fuel tank a refill later on. Then hopefully the harvester can get back to work. Gained the knowledge on that too, which is kind of nice. All right, that's 100%. Got plenty of rations left over too. So uh, loot and return. Slide all the sliders. Just pack full. Hit that button there. There's a pack full button there. Don't have to. Don't have to do this. You just hit that button. Who knew? Uh, return. Safe trip home. Cool. Bring all that stuff back home. So now, all we have left is the West. See what that's about, huh? And then, it, granted, there's again. Uh, this isn't all the content. There are three stages to each expedition. So, I mean, we're looking at twelve different expeditions added to the game, which I want to say is double the expeditions that are normally available in the game. Uh, if we go to the expedition screen and open up the window for that, um, if I counted all of these, I don't know how many there are. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. There's actually more than I thought there was. 18 expeditions on the map. You know? So, I mean... Not double, but it's a pretty good increase of how many expeditions there are. And you get, you know, custom rewards, uh, very unique rewards and unique experiences that are just not available on the rest of the map, which are really, really nice to see. We could actually do one of these, one of these normal expeditions while we're waiting. We have enough, we have enough rations for it. Um, we could take a look at this fast food restaurant. 
see what's up with this. It says, uh, hey, chief, it's one of the scouts on the line. I ran into the ruin of a restaurant out here. The way the signs at the entrance looks, they probably served fast food. Maybe you still remember, chief, the elders from the end zone had spoken about them. Hamburgers and French fried potatoes. Greasy, salty, unhealthy, but damn delicious. One side of the building is already caved in, so getting in there won't be a problem. The business was probably already looted after the catastrophe, but maybe something usable will still turn up. It's the best. If, it's best if you send a veteran scrap collector along. Okay, so we'll uh, we'll go ahead and uh, configure this. We just need somebody who's educated, somebody who has a researcher badge. Probably will be one of the same. I hope anyway. On that, um, although I don't see the researcher badge at all. I don't see a researcher badge here. It's hard to get a researcher badge because you have to be like, there's only four people in your whole colony that'll have that. Oh, there it is. Done. Elizabeth. Um, and then we'll take Francisco along with us and then uh, maybe we could take uh, yeah, we'll just take these two. It's probably fine. These ones don't typically have as many action points to do as these other expeditions. Um, they're kind of scaled with the size. So, like the nuclear power plant had a lot of things to do. The hospital had a lot of things to do, but like these smaller areas, there's not as much to do in them usually. So I'll take 10. I don't think I'll need any more, but if I do need more, then, you know, whatever. I'm gonna send metal tools with them as well, cause you might as well. I don't know if they're really gonna need it, but I'm gonna bring it anyway. Uh, and I don't anticipate any radiation problems. So start expedition. So we'll have this one going on at the same time too. So you can imagine like if you're, as you're playing this, building your own settlement out, how you're multitasking, like all these different types of buildings going on different exhibition, ex exhibitions. I can, I can say these words, I swear. Um, and then, um, expeditions at an exhibition expedition. Uh, and then you get the balloon station added to it. And now you can just, you're, you're going on two at once, right? You can, you can actually do two expeditions at once that way, which is, which is nice. Cause normally you can't do that. Um, but you can now. It's cool. Yeah, he wants potatoes. I don't have potatoes for him. So the drought took out about half my water supply. That drought was pretty serious. But, you know, we're going to have two really good rains here we can collect from. This is a weekly contaminated rain, so we have three rains to collect from here, and that's going to be very easy. So our water supply is going to get maxed out again. Um, I would like to help in that process by getting as many of these water towers as possible to be upgraded. Because they all have just increased storage potential that way, and it's great. I don't know where the rest of them are. Uh, that one, uh, this one. Nope, it's the one I clicked on, but that's already queued for. It's already queued for an upgrade. Just this one, uh, and then this one here. We can queue that one up for an upgrade too. And those are all good. This one also needs upgraded. It's really expensive to upgrade them too. Like this is not cheap. Um, let's let's strengthened metal is pretty. Like it's it's not something that's very cheap to make takes a while to make it. I'm super established, so like it's easier for me to make it, but this stuff is usually pretty expensive. So you wouldn't want to do this like all of them at once kind of thing. Not typically. I would also like to see how the power grid holds up with the, uh, uh, with nighttime running this at night. Cause this is taking 2,500 power. Yeah, so at night time, we have a 28, 28,646 surplus, or sorry, negative on this. We have a deficit of power at night, which makes sense. So our storage goes down really quick. But if the storage can fill itself up during the day, then it doesn't matter as long as it lasts throughout the night. I wish my power wall lasted this long. Yeah, this is pretty good. We got good storage. Daytime happens, and now it starts to fill up again. There it goes. Cool. It'll easily fill up during the day. 
Love it. We need to give this lady some scrap. Who wants to give these ladies this lady some scrap? Get a hundred logistics people. Let's get like my gosh, we have so many settlers. Get like 130 builders. Get a few more water people. Keep up more well keepers. A couple more farmers is fine. 260 settlers. We're up at 1,100 people again. That's why I didn't want to expand my want to expand my water situation. Pumping station is now getting researched. Now we delivered all the resources for it. That's cool. We're ready to get started. As the scout already mentioned, we can simply enter the building via the caved inside. But why in blazes people used to have to pay for food in businesses like this one is beyond me. Just imagine if we had to haggle with each other over food, Chief. Imagine haggling people over food. Can you imagine? All right, so our we have 10 action points for this. So restaurant, that's what we're gonna take a look at right now. It says faded signs are still hanging everywhere in the walls here. Keep your social distance. Oh no. Oh no. How? End zone team. Assemble. How did you how did you know? <laughs> this game came out before COVID. How did you, how did they know? <laughs> Um, faded signs. Keep your social distance. Disinfect hands and wear nose and mouth protection. What was that all about? What was that all about? Uh, hey, uh, the cash registers here were apparently broken into when the business was looted back then. But so what? We can't do a thing with money anyway. The, electro the electronic cash registers. Now that is a different story. We got some bright minds along who can remove the electronic components without breaking anything. Go for it. Got 69 electronics. It's awesome. Very careful to remove the sensitive components. <laughs> oh yeah, right there you go, SSG, SGG. Right in the PS, just just punch him right in the PTSD. <laughs> uh, what's up, Jeff? Maybe you could do League with me in Splatoon 2? Huh? Do League with you? What? Splatoon 2? I don't know what that is. I have no idea what Splatoon 2 is. 2 is. I love how Netflix CEO is blaming... Walk people? Like... Like the cooking YouTube? Like... Like a walk? The cooking? Uh, such for the 75% drop in value instead of... I mean, they have an okay business plan. I don't see anything wrong with their business plan. The only... You know, I mean, like, they just have so much competition and... You know, I, I still regularly watch Netflix all the time. Like, Netflix is my most streamed app, still. I mean, like a lot of people have moved on to like other things. Like I don't even have, I don't have Hulu because I really don't care to pay for an app that gives me commercials anyway. And the one that doesn't give me commercials, I'm not interested in that price, you know? Doesn't create the value for me. Netflix creates the value for me. That said though, I'm kind of a, I'm kind of, I want to say I'm a special case. I'm, I'm not really special, um, but I have a unique situation maybe uh, in which my cell phone provider pays for like 85% of my Netflix bill. You know, like T-Mobile gives me $12 worth of, I think it's $14 worth of Netflix now. Um, so I'll, all I pay for is the $4 upgrade for HD pro or for 4K programming. That's all I pay for. So like, that's why I think it's a good value probably. But, but I also have like, you know, I get HBO because my mom has AT&T and I get that login for DirecTV. Um, that's also how I get stars. AMC Plus, which I've only opened twice, um, I got that for $8 total for one year at a Christmas sale last Christmas. So, you know, that's $8 for the year. I've only opened it once. Uh, 
Amazon Prime, because, like, Prime Video, because who doesn't have Prime now, I guess? I mean, maybe people have stopped buying Prime, I guess, I don't know. It's way too valuable. We It pays for itself easily for how we shop, so whatever. Um, you know, like, um, Apple TV Plus is, Apple TV Plus and Disney Plus are the only ones I pay full price for. Those are the only things I pay full price for. Only because uh, ESPN. I want I want Disney. The Disney Plus package gives me ESPN. So. And actually, no. I stopped that because I don't want Hulu. So I actually get ESPN now because my mom's DirecTV. <laughs> so that one's... That one's... Eh. That one's a little bit weird. Yeah. The stock was overvalued. Oh, yeah. 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 It's not overvalued anymore. It's fine now. It's like, what? 21 PE? Forward PE is like 15. That's 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 fair. That's fair value now. Uh, let's see. Seating area. It's a whole area of knocked over tables and chairs. Most of it's junk. Some of it might be recyclable. And we'll try it out. So we're just gonna take a bunch of that stuff and uh, we'll get plastic for that. It's nice. And then there's some stuff in the kitchen. We have experts who know how to scrap together stuff in the kitchen. So we're gonna get child's play to our experts. That's what they said, child's play. Get a bunch of electronics and stuff for that stuff too, nice. Uh, there's also a cold storage room. Apparently food used to be stored here. Of course, in the meantime, all it's all certainly been looted or rotted away. But we could take a look inside anyway. Maybe there's some non-perishable synthetic food. On the basis of ingredients, our researchers might actually be able to detect whether it's still eat a, whether whether it can still be eaten or not. Cool, we got some roe, roe ro venison. There it is. Cool. They have no backup income. So it's like sources are Hulu, CBS, or Amazon. Yeah, but why do they need one? They have their thing. Let them do their thing. You know, they don't need a backup revenue source. They're fine. They're just overvalued, that's all. They'll, they'll be fine. Hey, Charlie. Hey, what's up, Jordy? Uh, checked recently. I'm a stupid student spending 80 euros a month on subscriptions. That's a stupid student. I'll give it to you. Uh, I didn't say it. You did. But I'll just agree with you. <laughs> that's, that's too much. No, that's too much. Pick one, you know? Pick two. I think, I think if you're going to pick two, right, um, you know, obviously pick one that aligns to your interest the most. Okay, if you're really into sports, then the Disney Plus bundle is perfect. Because then you get ESPN, right? But you also get Hulu, and you can have some things with that. And then you have the entire Disney collection as well, which is great. Uh, aside from Spider-Man, because Sony's a dick. Um, but like, you used to get that. So like, if if you if you're into sports and you like you know Marvel and all that stuff, like the Disney Plus bundle is awesome because you get three channels for that one price. You know, and it costs as much as Netflix 4K does. But again, I, I am a little bit situational there because I get certain things for free. Like I, I don't pay for Prime Video, I don't pay for HBO Max, I don't pay, I pay four bucks for Netflix because of my cell phone provider. Um, and then like my brother works as a manager at T-Mobile. So we have like some stupid, ridiculous, like 70% off our bill. So like it's, it, it's a good situation. So that's where I'm coming from. It's not like, I'm not coming from a situation of someone who's paying full price. So take it for what it is. Yeah. Uh, everything empty or already disintegrated into dust. All that's left is a few shrink wrap sacks. Listen to this label, Chief. Mueller's A1 meat substitute powder. Tastes like the real thing. Now with 10% less sawdust. Did the people back then know what kinds of things they were stuffing themselves with? According to the list of ingredients, our researcher says that so many long-lasting chemical preservatives were mixed into the powder that it should still be edible. Definitely not an appetizing prospect, but it might help us get through hard times. Okay. Done. Pack the full... Uh-oh. Okay, so this is the part where we brought too many rations with us, so if we reduce the rations, I don't really need the food, so we can actually just go ahead and forget that. What I'd rather bring is the electronics. We can also make two trips. I don't want to, but we can make two trips. Um, let's bring the rations back because we might need them for the balloon. And we'll just make two trips. 
Yeah, we'll do something like this. And we'll bring maybe... Uh, we don't need the scrap, actually. Focus on the electronics and the stuff. Yeah, go. Okay. Because we can say we can send another trip over there to grab stuff anyway, so whatever. Okay, are we getting the balloon? I want to see the balloon come back. Where's my balloon? Where is it? I thought you were flying. It should be here any second. Oh, it's not not quite yet. Okay. Are you excited for Stranger Things Season 4 Part 1? When is that? When is Stranger Things coming back? I do like that a lot. It's a good show. I just started Ozark, so I'm probably not going to start anything new until I'm through with, through with Ozark, but I'm like on episode 8 or something with Ozark now. Good show. Also good show. For mature audiences, it's a good show. We don't have bundles here as far as I know. Oh, right outside the United States. I, I didn't think about the fact that... I, yeah, I never even thought about the fact that like bundles and stuff might be exclusive to like certain regions. You have Netflix from your sister. Okay. You're paying for Prime, Disney, YouTube Premium. Hey! High five. Thanks for supporting creators. HBO and uh, a student license for Adobe. Yeah, yeah. That'll, that'll do it. That'll do it. I, I, I still have Photoshop. That's the only thing Adobe I use now. Um, I used to use After Effects a lot, but I haven't had a need to anymore. And rather than paying for the license all year for that one time I might need it, uh, I just pay somebody to do it now. <laughs> it's actually cheaper. If you don't, if you only need it once in a year, it's cheaper just to hit hit up Fiverr. Done. I got better things to do. Uh, May twenty seventh or twenty sixth? That's pretty close. That's like next week. Yeah, because I have a lot of Ozark to get through then, don't I? A lot more Ozark to get through. Hey, five dollars for Charlie is a good deal. Yeah, it is. There you go. I don't know what that is. Five dollars for Charlie plus. Oh, it's Canadian. Okay. Yeah. It came in my. What it, what it displays in chat is different than what I saw. Like chat says something different than my interface does. So thank you for the three dollars and eighty nine cents super chat. <laughs> Appreciate that. Uh, okay. Uh, so we did the east. Now it's the west. That's the only place left. We're going to the west. I repeat, if anyone can hear us, we've gotten stuck en route and have some problems. We've run out of water. Any kind of help would be welcome here. If you can hear us out there, we're going to radio through our coordinates now. Water. water. We need water. We need water. Okay, so obviously water is the thing to bring. So, um, obviously bringing water and bringing ex extra expedition rations. We're gonna bring metal tools. Seems pretty fair. Um, we just need some badges with us, looks like. Cook badge, that's nice. Haven't had a need for that yet. Let's bring Bobby. Uh, actually, well, let's, let's make sure we're not bringing super old people. I wanna bring just regular adults if I can. Um, we'll bring Sarah for the water carrier. We'll bring Alicia for the farmer badge. We're gonna bring um, we don't have anyone with an irrigator badge, so I might need to dip into the older population for that one. Um, but the cook badge can be Mark. Yeah, I don't see any irrigator badge, unfortunately. We'll open it up to old adults, see if I can get one of those. Yeah, this person here has an irrigator badge. This should be enough people, too. So let's make sure we have, uh, we'll go with 15 action points. See what happens. Uh, send them. Send them on their way. We're going out west. Canada represent. Yeah, there you go. It's good. Okay, town hall has some demands. Oh, cake wasn't good enough, huh? So they want a new recipe for their stew or more than a roof over your head. Comfortable houses built. Ten of them. Ooh. Okay, we can do it. All right, before we accept this, we have 1.4 seasons. Let's take a look at the houses and see if we can upgrade them to comfortable houses. Uh, it takes two and two on those resources. We have plenty. 
We can do this. Yep, we can upgrade all of these houses. This will be the most comfortable houses in the whole wide world. At least to these people it will be. Upgrade, 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 upgrade. Let's keep doing that. And we'll let them start building these before we accept the demand so that they finish right after we accept the demand. That way we're not gonna run out of time. That is 11. 12. Uh, I think it's 20 is what I had to do, right? Wasn't 20 what was requested? No, 10. Okay, that's fine. We're gonna upgrade, we'll upgrade 12 of them then. Mm -hmm. Good. I got a ton of builders. 130 builders. My God, this should be sourced so fast. 270 settlers that are just walking around carrying things. This is all going to happen very quickly. We're going to see what these houses look like. So we're going to leave this one unupgraded for now. Just so I can get like a on-screen look at what they, uh, the difference between them. Also, this is a cabin. We should probably upgrade that too. So it used to be this, then it turned into this, and now it's going to turn into something completely better. And then this shelter could be an upgraded shelter. We'll go ahead and do that too. Great. Another Canadian. <laughs> there you go. Yep. I just realized that the next captain of industry is up. Now I have something to watch after work. There you go. Yep. I released one today. Uh, I'm going to release another one tomorrow. Um, early access people. Those of you who are members. Thank you for your support. Appreciate it. You guys have access to the next one already right now. It's in early access right now. Um, you also have the 30th video for The Witcher. I still have to get 31 through 34 done. It's taking a while to synchronize them. And I like to render in batches. So I don't like wait for one to render and then start another one. So 31, 32 is already synced. I have to finish 33 and then I'll do 34 and get that. If there even is a 34, I forget now. Ooh, look at this. Oh, they look good. Oh, these look really nice. I would live in this. You go from this to that? Hell yes. Definitely better. Okay. Let's um, accept the demand before it's too late. Accepted. Now they want four. Oh, look at this. Now they want 14. They want me to do 10 of them. Basically, they just want me to do 10. So accept this now before he keeps moving the damn goalpost. <laughs> All right. We're going to do this one and then, yep, build them up. Good. Oh, those look awesome, dude. Comfortable houses are awesome. All right, let's go ahead and do these ones over here too. These special people with all the hedges. They deserve to have upgrades as well. Oh yes, all the sturdy houses. Get them upgraded. I wish there was just a big massive upgrade tool. Like, is there an upgrade tool? Like something I can just mass select all? I wish that was a thing. Select what I want to do and then what I want to do it to. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, this is the this is the way. I'm going to keep bringing this up every game. <laughs> every single video, every every game I play, it's going to be I did it again. I hit the button. It's going to be the same thing every single time. Bulk actions are so underrated. <sighs> ah, Charlie, do you have a separate render machine? I do. Um I have a networked solution, so um, I render from the stream com the stream computer, which is what you're uh, watching this on. Uh, I game from a game dedicated gaming system, um, but then if I'm too busy, I'm usually around a lot, um, and if I'm out of the house, my laptop will tap into the network drive of the house, and I can edit the same exact timeline that my stream computer edits. I can just pick it up right where I left off with my laptop and edit, continue it. And the changes will get saved on my project file because all of it's network integrated. So um, if I need to keep working and I'm remote, I can do that. Um, I can't queue this computer to render it remotely. It still has to be rendered on the computer I'm on. I don't have that capability. Um, but maybe if I went ahead and got like a, like a remote desktop solution, then I could probably do it then, but it doesn't matter. Oh, yeah. So this is the upgraded shelter. Looks like this. Nice. 
Not bad. And then I can also upgrade it again to a comfortable shelter. So now I can see them side by side. So we'll see comfortable shelter here and then this. This is from Prosperity. These different shelters and stuff. This is from the Prosperity DLC. It is not from Distant Places. Um, but, I mean, it's nice to show it anyway, right? I mean, it's something I needed to do anyway, so. Not the biggest fan of buried types. Well, you know what? That's fine. You get to have your opinion. It's fine. Pumping stations. So I need to have this by the water. There we go. Uh, but how does it work? Put one there. Put one on this side. Oh, these are, the efficiencies of these are... They could be really close together. Wow. I hear that one tiny square of red. There we go. Oh, please tell me you'll fit here. Oh, that would be so cool if you would. Please. How about here? Can you be here? Please. 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 Help. Players. Won't work. It's okay. Two pumping stations is fine. We can also do it over here. Get one right there like this. What is in the way? There ain't nothing there. Don't give me that back talk. There ain't nothing there. There you go. See? Pumping stations. Nice. Now we really get water. Life here is truly better now. I know. All the prosperous, all that prosperity. 106 people have an epidemic. Again, epidemics happen way too frequently. I think it's probably because of the contaminated water I keep allowing into the rainwater collectors. But once we get this, I think at that point I can shut down the rainwater for contaminated rain. I can just go like this, really. Let's just do this. Let's see what happens. If I close these for any contaminated rain at all, I wonder what happens to my food and water supply. You're the face of great gaming. Oh, I don't think so. I'm pretty bad at what I do. Like gaming, I mean. I'm pretty bad at gaming. Also, I have no cement because I stopped all these guys and switched them to coal. See? I'm bad. I'm really bad at this. I told you. Get iodine as well. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're out of all the stuff we need. Go back and get some of that stuff. I love this song, dude. It's fun. Um, did I just switch everybody to cement? See, again, overcompensated. Stay on coal. You, on coal. I don't really need to, though, do I? You have, you have tons of coal. I'll wait till the supply gets lower, and then I'll switch it. If I remember. I probably won't remember. Yeah, we don't have enough concrete for these pumping stations or glass. Wow, look at me. I'm a big old failure. Great. I don't remember what makes glass. I don't remember what the, the recipe is for that. Needed to construct some kinds of complex buildings. Yeah. Well, the good news is, I think we can actually ask one of our trusty people here if we ever deliver the scrap to her. She's been sitting here forever. Somebody give this lady some scrap. She needs is a little bit of scrap. That's it. Fifth element, please, play. There you go. See? You're my kind of people, Canadian goat. You got the you got the fifth element reference. I sneak it in there. I sneak it in there. I don't do it every video, but usually every stream there's at least one somewhat subtle reference to the fifth element. Because that's that's my movie, man. That's just That's my movie. 
you know? That's just my... It's a guilty pleasure movie, you know? I gotta... I guess I gotta reference it. It's the way it is. I know everything there is to know about it. If it's on, I'm watching. You know? I think I got every single water tower upgraded now. I don't believe any regular ones exist. I will say, though, that it is likely um, that I have a death problem. There's a body there. Yep, there's the death problem. <laughs> Look at all the bodies laying around. Holy crap. Okay, we need cemeteries. Um, you're going to guard this zone. Okay. And we need... There's no cemetery coverage here at all. <laughs> no cemetery coverage at all. We need more morticians. We're going to put up here and here. Out here, away from the people. And we're going to say that I want you to build this uh, right now. That's the next priority build right there. And I'm going to put a big old paved road from here. See what I say? Huh? Not good at games. Not good at video games. Have this road take it this way. Uh huh. Here comes the sandstorm. No biggie. Yeah, the epidemics are really frequent. I think it's because of contamination. Like, I think I'm just allowing the, you know, pollution and everything, but like, people's health is fine. You know? Health has been fine for a while. Rich food also helps with that. We've had, you know, 19. 19 is a good variety of rich food, right? So, like, we have a really healthy, really variety diet. Um, greenhouses could be helpful. Not be contaminated by radiation. So, we can start that research, too. And then, I feel like... This shop, there's still, there's only four wood at this location. Never been here yet. There's only four wood at that location. Um, we are about to arrive in the west, though. So, while I'm taking care of the water issues, I've already addressed the power issues. We have... All the excess animals are being slaughtered so that the pens don't fill up. We're going to permit the animals to extend to the fullest part of the pen all the way out. Yep, there we go. We now have an expedition done. And so with this, making sure we have more, more morticians, we now want to have the field of work be here. <laughs> All the, in, in case you don't know how to read this. Okay, I'm going to show you the field of work. And all of the little orange dots that show up is a dead body laying in the streets. I'm just saying, I might have slacked off on this particular area of town. I might have forgot. They're in the mines. They're just dead in the mines waiting. Oh, God. <laughs> what a travesty. Oh, God. It extends this way, too. It's so bad. What have I done? <laughs> okay. All right. So that is at least being addressed now. We're taking care of that. That's probably why there's disease. You know? Because dead bodies, that's probably why there's disease. Epidemic spreads from that is being a source is pretty legit, actually. Okay, so uh, let's take a look 
at our faraway place, our final distant place. We're going out west. Thank God. Somebody tracked our radio message. We tried so often, we got to the point where we didn't believe that anyone was going to come anymore. I don't know if Katie Cat's here still. Maybe she'd back me up on this. She's kind of cute. You know? Just saying. She, you know, they did a good job. Very high detail characters, you know? They did a good job. All right, let's go. Jess, come here. There are people here who might be able to help us. Our radio message actually reached someone. By the way, I'm Ella, and I drive the train. Pleased to meet you. And she drives trains. At last, somebody's heard us. I'm Jess. As a botanist, I take care of the plants here. The best thing would be for Ella to show you the rest of the train because I have a lot to do at the moment so that my little seedlings don't wither away. Okay. Yes, let me briefly explain the situation. We remodeled this train and turned it into our rolling home. Survival simply wasn't possible anymore where we come from. Everything was contaminated with radiation and dried up. Now we're en route to a better future. Except that, unfortunately, we're stuck here because our water supply is running out. And we can't get any farther like this. She actually got like a rogue thing going on with her, you know? That, that one strand of white hair. You know, like, you know, X-Men, Rogue. She got that thing, like, Rogue thing going on with her. It's cool. We were forced to decide whether we hold on to the remaining water for drinking or use it to run the locomotive boiler. Naturally, we ration the water to our people. But now the tank's almost empty, and then we won't have a drop left. There's nothing except dust and sand around here. It's exasperating. Do you have an idea? Well, I brought a lot of water with me. Does that help? Boss, we could give these people our some of our water if we could only get this tanker open. It's completely rusted. Oh, wait a second. Here, here's an opening. The expert says he's seen this before. Apparently, it's a filler pipe specifically for refilling. <laughs> Amazing. Convenient. Open it. 90% confidence. Or there's a lid here. We're having trouble opening the water tank. The lid is completely rusted. If we want to fill it with water, we'll need to get it open somehow. In other words, we've got to get the lid off. We'll get out the crowbar and use the pliers. Uh, we get this thing open. No, I think I'll just take the opening. It's fine. It's open, boss. With a bit of patience and a deft touch, we got the nozzle open. We used the opportunity and cleaned it too. Good. Oh, God. I'd really hoped there'd be at least a little bit left in the tank. But the status quo is truly a gaping void. Damn it! We'll never get the train away from here like this. Please, help us. You do have water with you, don't you? No, we answered your call and didn't bring the one thing you were very clear you needed on. Didn't, didn't at all bring that with us. Thanks a lot for your help. That amount ought to be enough for the time being. Hopefully we'll find a lake or something like it soon. But with this, we'll be able to start up the engine again and certainly make it to the next source of water. Okay. It's a lucky thing you responded to our radio signal and helped us. I already thought we were going to die of thirst here, but we've survived it now. This train is nothing to sneeze at, isn't it? Go take a look around. Maybe you can help out some more here and there. What luck that we have water again now. That's called a rescue in direst need. But just look at them, my little beauties. The last few days, I had to use my own water ration to get them through it. Plants are living things, too. Uh-huh. So, that's the plant wagon. There's also a kitchen galley car and a materials car. Let's talk about the kitchen first, I think. Here is where we always all get together to prepare our meals. Although it's not as ritzy as it must have been way back when anymore, it does a good job of serving its purpose. Now that we have water again, we can finally cook up something decent, too. You know, if I ever play Cyberpunk, maybe this will be the character I design. You know, I could look like this. I don't know. Should I? I'm going to play it at some point. I don't know when. Should I Should I be? Do you, do you play as male or female when you guys play it? You know, does it? I, don't, I wonder how much it matters. Um, when we when we started it on Twitch, like, I don't know, a year and a half ago, whenever it came out, it was on release. 
we started on Twitch, and I really only... I, I streamed it like three times, I think. Four times. Um, so we played a little bit into the game. Uh, we had a female character then, so... We played as a, we started as a corpo. I don't remember what it was like, uh, if it's any different, uh, if you start with male or not. Aha! Uh -huh. You ask what's on the menu? Good question. We ought to talk about that. At any rate, I put on some broth. Okay, what have you got there? The way I pictured it, this here is going to be a tasty stew. Although, hmm, it still tastes kind of bland. What do you think? What else should we add? So a minute ago, you were saying, help us, we're in dire needs. We just don't have any water. We're gonna die of thirst and our food. And now you're like, hmm, this is delicious. Maybe we should add something to it. I guess, I mean, if water was the main problem, I guess. Got lots of spices on your train. Chief, there's a swivel grill standing here and the smell of grilled meat is delightful. Somebody stoked the grill with gusto. <laughs> it really would uh, suggest itself uh, to cut a little of it off. Wait, it really would suggest itself to cut a little of it up. Okay, uh, and add it to the stew, wouldn't it? Kind of, what does that mean? It would suggest itself? I don't, I don't talk this way, I don't know. Our cook will quickly cut away the charred spots. Hey now, those are the best spots. Apparently a few of the steaks have been left on one side for too long. Okay, we could do that. Or potatoes. This troop here had lots and lots of potatoes along, Chief. They're basically always good in a soup. Although a few of them don't really look too fresh anymore. Our farmer will take a look, sort them out. That's so loud with rotten potatoes. Uh, yeah, let's just grill the meat, it's fine. Good, at any rate, that ought to be enough to fill up our troop here. I don't know who put the meat on the grill for themselves, but now it's in our pot for the good of the community. The stew really turned out to be wonderful. It's a sure thing it will give us strength for our journey. Thank you for helping us with the preparations. Is there any chance that you'd like to hand out the food to the crew now? Sure. We could do that, yeah. Or just hand it to Jess. Top notch, Chief. The sure thing the whole community here is going to be happy with this feast for the pallet. Uh, we'll just place a big pot here for them, okay? We have to bring Jess a plate of stew too, Chief. She's sure thing she's... Sure thing she's in her plant car. Man, this is like... She talks weird. This, this one talks weird. Thanks a lot for bringing it by. As a result of the scarce water supplies, we've had to severely cut back on the food too, so that we don't dehydrate any further. Naturally, now everyone's positively famished. Great, I'll bring it to Jess too. Oh, the food's ready. Say, that's nice of you to bring something by for me, but watch out that you don't spill anything and scold my sweeties. She is obsessed with these plants. A little bit on the nose there. Very, very aggressive. That personality is about the plants. Uh, plant wagon, we can talk to Jess. I think I'll wait for the last on that. We're gonna go to the materials car next instead. This is our materials car. We toss everything in here that we collect on the edge of the tracks. Some of the pieces lying in here were probably part of the train ones too. Time after time, we're able to use something from it for repairs. Admittedly, we don't really have any actual use for a lot of it, and more or less just take it for a ride. I'm afraid that at some point an inventory would be called for. What do you say about taking a look to see if there's something in it you could use? Mm. As thanks, so to speak, in return for you helping us with our problem with the water. Thanks, sure. Well, sheet metal, plastic, or cables. I like the idea of getting electronics. Cables, chief, cables galore. Each plug is different. It's sure thing this would make the electronics fanatics at home happy. Oh, I'm having such a hard time reading her sentences. Uh, I, re I really ask myself what people used to need so many different plugs for. 
instead of them simply just standardizing all the connections. Oh well. When you live where everything's in abundance, you can probably allow yourself stuff like that. At any rate, we'll pack it all up. Sure. Uh, sheet metal. Uh, there's a bunch of sheet metal here. We can take a look at it. And we get a bunch of stuff for that. Great. And then there's plastic here. Take a look at it. And we get a bunch of plastic. Go figure. Uh, all right. Let's go to the plant wagon. We still have 10 rations left. We haven't had to make any... What we haven't really had to make any decisions here at all, what did we? Luck that we have water again now. That's called a rescue in Dyer's need. But just look at them. My little beauties. The last few days, I had to use my own water ration to get them through it. Plants are living things, too. This greenhouse on wheels is simply fantastic, you know. Whenever I find a plant that survived out here, I plant it right away. But ever since our water's been in short supply, I sadly had to let some of the plants die. Is there any chance you could help me pot the last seedlings I was still able to rescue and perk them up? I just now noticed that our balloon is sitting over here. Like I've been doing this, this view and stuff. I, I totally missed that that was over there. Yeah. Really? Great. What would we be without plants, hmm? The heat tormented my little ones here the same as it did to us human beings. Except that they can't be heard when they call for help. To get these little rascals fit again, we'll have to take care of the soil. It's all dried out and low on nutrients. Okay, so got soil and got fertilizing. Cool. Planters are full of old roots and the soil is really hard. I guess we need to get rid of the old plants and prepare the soil. That looks very good. The soil is much looser and you've removed the withered specimens. We can work with that. I thought you were a botanist. Extraordinary, extraordinary botanist. A very dedicated and obsessed botanist. You couldn't do that yourself? Very good. The boxes are already prepared for a start. Unfortunately, all my sunflowers died. They simply didn't survive the lack of water. On the other hand, this way we have space for something new. I want to hear your opinion. What do you think I should plant instead? Potatoes. Probably. Oh god, potatoes, yeah. Use potatoes. <laughs> uh what is we planted potato what is I swear her sentences are screwed up, right? It's not just me. What is we planted potatoes instead? If what if we planted potatoes instead? They are nutritious and don't need much water, and there are so many ways to prepare them, and they keep and they keep for a long time. Okay. Or sugar beets. Uh, these are sugar beet seeds, aren't they? Aren't they, Jess? They provide a lot of energy and are pretty low maintenance. Maybe it'd be best to plant sugar beets in your wagon. If it's low maintenance, I, I probably should, you know, because like the hard times that they're in, right? Because they're less energy and everything. But um, the potatoes go really good with the stew and everything, so I don't know. I guess it, it doesn't really matter. Maybe it doesn't matter. Or if they plant potatoes, maybe I'll get some of these potatoes and send it to the other guy. Hey! Maybe we can... I honestly have to. Potatoes. Gotta be potatoes. Oh, yeah. That's true. Potatoes really are quite well suited for that purpose. I already planted some, too. But from a botanical point of view, they're always so boring. Oh, well. You're right. Survival takes precedence over professional prestige. Now... Could you also take a look at my irrigation system here? I built it to distribute our water to the plants more effectively. Well, what do you think? Can we put it into operation? Maybe. Uh, so boss, here's a bunch of hoses that lead to the planters. Uh, according to the specialist, this is really loud. <laughs> according to the specialist, it's a drip irrigation system. That doesn't sound like a drip irrigation system. <laughs> it's That sounds like it's, you know, you're spraying it with a hose. You need to two hand the hose. <laughs> um, it's, a, it's a nifty term. Uh, the holes in the hoses are really tiny so that the water is only released droplet for droplet. We ought to blow into the openings and free them to remove any deposits. We can try it. Or the irrigation system. The connector for the irrigation system is completely bent. 
There's no way water can flow down like that. The valve has to go and the connector has to be reset. When all of that is straight again, the water should be able to flow. Our tools, uh, our tools, with our tools, these work steps aren't any problem at all, Chief. Fabulous. The Sunflower seeds. Now I can always water my little one sufficiently. I can't hear her talking anyway over the water. <laughs> Sunflower seeds a seed. <coughs> Fabulous, the water's running. That's the only way it should be. Now I can now I can always water my little ones sufficiently. It's a shame that there's no room now for my sunflowers at the moment. What would you say if you just took them with you and tended them? And if someone asks you where you got the lovely flowers from, and you can tell the story about me and my darlings. Yeah, okay. <sighs> okay. Um, that seems to be it. We solved all their problems for now, so farewell. Good, Chief. I think we've done what we can when we could here. Uh, the most important thing was surely the water supply. With the new supply, LHS and the others here will hopefully make it and escape the drought. Homebound? There's nothing else to do here. It's time to be packed our things and shipped out again. What a shame. You were hardly here at all. Thanks for your help. Truly, thank you so much. It saved us. I think we'll be setting off on our way again soon, too. I wish you a safe trip home. You're welcome, Ella. You are most welcome. You're heading off again? Be careful with the seeds I've given you and take good care of them so that they grow nicely, too. Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll see each other again. Till then. Till then. All right, cool. More settlers get the Explorer badge too. It's nice. Uh, so we'll now loot and return, fill the pack. Everything is awesome. And we go back home. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is how the Distant Places DLC works. That's how it goes. Uh, I've managed to get some time to, with you today to show you some late game content and uh, to get you acquainted with the, the new content that's in that DLC. Also had a, a bit of a preview on some of the stuff in Prosperity, right? New houses, new, uh, the, the beacon and things like that, new, new different types of technologies. We definitely have all sorts of things. We could do like uh, the greenhouse and stuff now as well, right? And uh, I've managed to show you the first stage of each of the expeditions to the distant places. But if you'd like to know how they continue, well, then you can click, click the link in the description and you can pick up this DLC for yourself, for Endzone. Yeah, that's good. I'm gonna wrap this up here. It's been fun. Content is, is good. Uh, I, I like the DLC. I don't know what it costs off the top of my head. Maybe it's all on sale right now, you can pick it up. Again, link in the description. We'll show you how to do that. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Members, thank you for the support. Super chat people, thank you for the support. If, you, if you've subscribed during the stream, thank you as well. If you haven't, click the button because that helps as well. We're over 66,000 now. Um, and if you're interested, completely unrelated to Endzone, and if you're still watching because a lot of people click away when you, it sounds like things are going to end. Uh, if you're still watching, we're giving away a copy of Captain of Industry, giving away a free key to Captain of Industry. That's the series that's going on on my channel right now. You can find more information about that by visiting the community tab on the channel. Yeah, the little community tab. You click my channel and then you go to the community tab. It'll, it'll show you more information about that. I also give away a free game every single day in our Discord server. You should join that as well, Discord is linked in the chat there, also in the description. I give away a different game every single day, 9 a.m. Eastern time. It's a brand new giveaway every day. So if you're not in the Discord yet, and you're someone who just, gimme, 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 that's an opportunity at least. Maybe, maybe you'll meet some cool people and decide to stick around. That's the hope anyway. All right, that's it. I'm done shilling myself. And at least for the end of the day today, I'm done shilling Assemble Entertainment. Thank you so much for the support and appreciate the sponsor on this stream. Uh, it means a great deal to me. It definitely helps me keep going. And thanks for supporting an awesome game too. All right, I'm out of here. Take it easy. We'll see ya. Bye-bye.